Hello, how are you doing everyone? It's me, the Domotaku, and today it is time to talk about Hololive. Now, I have promised this video for quite some time now, although I have yet to, what you call it, actually do it and record it because the situation and stuff with Hololive has kind of gotten complicated over the last few weeks and months and stuff because what was it? I think I don't know when I promised making this video, but my idea to make this video was like probably like mid July and stuff. However, towards the end of July and in August, things have gotten really complicated for Hall Live, unfortunately, as someone who really likes them. And um, yeah, that just kind of complicated the way I was thinking about making this video because I was like, okay, let me think. I'm gonna go, you know, get clips and stuff and reference all their vids and stuff for the Hall Live for each member, talk about each gen, talk about what I like about them, talk about like how I got into each person, each VTuber, from what video or what series or whatever. But then, if you know the situation with Hololive now, it kind of got complicated because context, right? So I think on the very beginning of July, like very July 1st, like start of July, I, that's how I got into Hololive. I, I watched a video and I'm just like, oh, these are these VTubers that I um, apparently are booming right now. Let me go finally check them out because it's just all my recommended and I was bored, right? And after that, I got started me on this whole of Hololive and I started like researching and discovering all these members. I was like their content, their videos and stuff. I'm just like, whoa, I've been missing out, man. This stuff is like really entertaining. I'm digging it a lot. And I was like, there's like four generations of VTubers. There's like five each. I was like, yo, man, this is like, this is so entertaining. I never thought I would get into VTubers. So I just like enjoying the hell out of like Hololive and everyone's videos and stuff and their VODs. And their streams and um that went on for like a good time until like the late or mid july where then situation got really bad and essentially they're dealing with some kind of copyright thing and because of that a lot of their videos and vods from over the years or however long they've been on are gone they're either privated or deleted which is super unfortunate because now like most of the stuff that i've watched that got me into these uh vtubers are gone and i can't reference them anymore unless i recall from my memory and stuff which is unfortunate because like those were really good bots and videos and them playing games or doing stuff or whatever like they would have like 300 or 200 100 plus videos or whatever and then after the whole wave hit they'd have like 50 or something like that, like less now, right? That's like so unfortunate for every single member. And honestly, some members got it worse and stuff. Like some are taking breaks and some are just like AFK for now because like, what are they gonna do now? So, I'll, you know, I'll talk about that maybe afterwards, but like overall, I still really support Hall Live, even though what they're going through, they're still working hard, trying their best. And yes, some are on breaks, but they'll be back hopefully. Mio and Sakura specifically. So that's about it for now. Yeah, that's, that was my history and background with Hololive, I guess, for now. Originally, I did know about Hololive from, what was it? Azure Lane, Azure Lane. They had a Azure Lane collab. That was like back in the time when I was actually playing Azure Lane. Right now, I unfortunately am not playing that game, but I do have every single member in the gotcha. So thank goodness I have that. So if I ever go back to it, I can finally go back and play with the Azure Lane members. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that was like my first actual introduction to them. I'm just like, oh, these are like, you know, Azure Lane's having a collab with this VTuber, just like Kizuna Ai, because Kizuna Ai actually had a collab with Azure Lane as well. I was like, oh, these are like VTubers like Kizuna Ai. I was like, I don't know if they're like working with Kizuna Ai or like they're just like they know each other or something like that, but they're just VTubers. Okay, cool. Yeah, I never watched VTubers until like last month, because it's August 16 right now as I'm recording this. But yeah, so... Ever since the whole wave hit with their videos and stuff, I was just debating. I was like, how the heck am I going to talk about their stuff? And I can't look back at their stuff and remember what I watched from them. So I'm just like, well, okay, that's it. And then I was just holding it off. and just like, you know what? I still want to make my video on Hall Live because it really is like the newest thing I've discovered that really entertains me and really like, it's like, it's huge in my life right now because I watch like videos every day now. Like I'd like have like um, a lot of, video game stuff to watch on youtube but now i'm just i have like vtuber stuff to watch now every day and like my watch later list huge now it's like used to be like i don't know like 100 but now it's like 600 or something like that i'm exaggerating but like you know it used to be like that until their freaking stuff got hit so that's unfortunate but yeah today i just decided to talk about hall live 
through a podcast means. And I mean, that's kind of basic, but I mean, I can't really reference all their stuff because they've lost all their stuff, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm going to have to do what I work with. So what I'm going to do today is talk about my love for Hall Life. I'm going to go through every single generation, uh, what I like about each member and stuff and what their vids are or like, you know, what got me into their channel or their character and whatnot and how much I haven't watched a lot of people because there's like, what, five? There's five generations now. There used to be four, but they just recently announced a fifth generation even amongst like the whole like wave going on with their copyright and stuff. And I'm just like, okay, they're having a fifth gen now. Okay, cool. I'm actually witnessing a whole generation like starting from zeros. That's pretty awesome. So I'll do fifth gen like maybe in another podcast or video because they're just honestly starting their first stream so far. I don't think anyone's done anything else besides that. Just do like an introduction stream and I'm just like, oh yeah, my name's this and you know, here's my data and like info about my character or whatever sort of things. I didn't catch on to those because it was like 5 a.m. in the morning because that's way too late. But um, yeah, I'll talk about fifth gen maybe in another video. But so far we're going to talk about the first four gens because that's why I've worked with since uh for like a month and a half now so let's begin shall we so hall live first generation so um getting all this information from the hall live virtual youtuber wikia so yeah you can follow through if you um, you know that one um so first one akai hato so um i really like her a lot because of the fact that she spoke english to an extent because like, you know, everyone here speaks Japanese, and honestly, now these days, they make a huge attempt to, like, sort of s study a little bit of English for the overseas fans, which I really appreciate, and it's really, like, uh, heartwarming to think about that, because, you know, a lot of the fans, like, you know, there's, like, a good portion of Japanese or, you know, of worldwide viewers and whatever, and then there's, like, the overseas, and there's, like, you know, us, America, and stuff, which is cool. I don't dig it. So, Akai Hato... You know, I liked her a lot at start because she spoke English and I could understand most of her stuff, you know. I was like, okay, cool, you know, I can understand her. And then, and then we saw the cooking videos and then the whole feet thing. And it's not like a turn off, it's just like really random and stuff though. Uh, man, I can't remember anything from like Hato. See, this is what like the problem with like the whole video thing because I don't remember anything in terms of her gaming stuff. I've seen her, like literally I've seen her cooking videos because they're still up and um, it's very interesting, you know, it's very like, I don't know if she's like really doing this seriously or not, but like, it's just like her, her cooking, her cooking videos are like all over the place for me. And I'm just like, you know, they're oddly entertaining to sometimes, but I, I just wouldn't eat their cooking. I wouldn't, I would not eat that. Let's just put it that way. I wouldn't eat her cooking. Um, aside from that, she's, um, uh, apparently she has like a foot fetish or some shit like that. And like, that's like huge meme in like Hall Live apparently now. And um, she could honestly be super, like, very loud, could be like a tsundere, and um, is very, I think, I remember one time she was doing, um, she could be a degenerate, I gotta say, I'm pretty sure everyone calls her a degenerate, because there was like one time I watched like one of her VODs, it was her looking at lewds on like Twitter or social media of herself, and I was just like, oh my goodness, this is like so like, uh, yeah, actually, you know, yeah, I, I'm remembering all the videos now, like, I've seen from her. So, yeah, there's that video, and I honestly, I was like, okay. And then there's another video where I don't know if there's some kind of, like, penalty or something like that, but, like, basically, she's do voice acting these lines, and honestly, you don't want to watch that thing without, like, having a headphones or something like that, or don't blast the volume loud, because that shit was just like, okay then. So, yeah, Hato Hachama kid is, is entertaining. I like her a lot. You know, she does speak English, and I did start off with her originally. Although, like, she lost a lot of her stuff, man. And I was like, that's a disappointment. At least her cooking videos are still here, though. And recently, she got her a 2D sprite update or whatever. You know, she, her, her, anim her model. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't really see her play too much games. I've seen... I know she plays, like, a lot of games from... Um, what was it? She played... She's really good, apparently. I freaking get over it. And aside from that, um, everything else I don't remember or recall or didn't get to watch because they're gone. So unfortunate to say, but her cooking videos are still here. Um, anything else like her, yeah, her karaoke and stuff. And um, I'm looking at her channel right now. And honestly, I think uh, some of her videos came back actually. Oh shit, that's actually really good. Thank goodness. So yeah, um, you know, usually with her Hato's videos, like she does, apparently, well, for one, I really dig her because, um, what was it? She lives in Australia, apparently. I didn't know this until, like, I watched this one video where she's talking about, like, herself 
in IRL, right? And like some younger experiences. I don't know if she's like doing a transfer thing or whatever, but basically she's in Australia. She's not in Japan like the rest of the VTubers, I'm assuming. And um, like she had this whole thing as like uh, when she was like living on her own, or whatever, and how she's like really like like alone and different, and how like she's like very dumb, you know, like people thought she was like weird or annoying and stuff, and how she was like trying to make friends and stuff. And I was like, damn, really, uh, I really, you know, some of the VTubers will like drop some like real life stuff on you, real life experiences, and I'm just like, damn, you know, I relate, I feel with you, you know, uh, I support you. And stuff so that was like one of the videos that really got me into like liking hot songs like you know what she was in australia i'm like damn that's pretty interesting and unique and um yeah like just that stuff you know she she might be like super degenerate and stuff like that at times and do some crazy stuff and be very loud but that's that's fine i totally respect that and dig it because she's entertaining at times and she does a lot of short videos too. I don't know what these short videos are because they're not subbed all the time, but um, you know, I support the Hachama, you know? Hachama chama. That's cool. Okay. That's about it for Hato, I guess. So let's let's move on to the next VTuber. So, first gen, Yo Zora Mel. So I'm gonna apologize for a lot of things. <laughs> Alright. But like, let's okay, let me get this straight. Like, there's four generations of VTubers of Hololive, right? Of members. And there's like five members each about. So that's like 20 plus VTubers, right? And I have yet to watch every single person, right? And unfortunately, I can't watch everything from every single person because of the whole copyright wave stuff. So I'm going to let you know right now that Yozora Mel is one of those people that I do not know too much about, unfortunately. I am sorry if you are a uh, uh, a male fan, but um, you know, I was gonna get into it. It's just um, just just bad timing. I'm so sorry. So let's talk about Mel in a way that won't offend fans. Okay, Yozora Mel. So I know for a fact that she's a vampire or a succubus or something like that, right? She's a vampire, right? I'm pretty sure she's a vampire. I'm not crazy, am I? Okay, let's let me pull up her her channel too. Oh my god, I thought her videos were gone for a second. I was like looking at her channel, I was like, wait, where are all her videos? I'm on the homepage, it says nothing. And then I look on the videos, I was like, okay, okay, good. She's still here. There's still stuff here. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that Mel is a vampire. And um, that's all I know about it. At the very least, I don't recall watching anything from Mel. I mean, I've seen Mel when she's like doing videos with everyone else or other VTubers and stuff. But like, that's honestly it. And I am so sorry for other male fans. Let me, like, dwell into her channel a bit and stuff. But, I mean, um, one time, I did see her, like, doing a cooking video or something. She's, like, making food. And honestly, like, it looks a little bit more presentable than a certain other VTuber that I know. But that's, like, aside from that, um, let's see. She plays Ark a lot. I mean, a lot of the VTubers in the whole life play Ark. Although I have no idea what the hell Ark is and about, so... I can't really get into it too much, but I mean, I might watch a few times. Um, yeah, her channel got hit way too hard. I don't know exactly what um, kind of other things that Mel has done before in the past. But, um, you know, she plays a lot of games. Looks like she's done a few horror games, Ark, Apex. She's played Danganronpa. Wow, okay. Um, does she do, like, a bunch of, like, cooking videos? Is that it? I can't tell. Yeah, there's a cooking. Okay, I see cooking stuff here. Um, Mahjong, Ark, yeah, like, oh man, she just, like, I feel so bad, like, I wanted to, like, know more about the other VTubers, but, like, all their stuff is gone, so, like, that's, like, my chance gone, and, um, the only other thing I know of for Mel is that, like, she's, uh, very, um, developed in some areas, and because of that, YouTube does not like that, and so she has to, like, basically, like, censor her thing, or chest, all the time, or not, like, all the time, all the time, but, like, she has to, like, hide it a few times, yeah, from what I'm seeing here. That's unfortunate, because YouTube, YouTube, come on, man. I mean, that's unfortunate, but whatever. I mean, did her uh, live 2D model get updated too? I don't know. Oh, she did, I think she got a new, yeah, she got a new 2D model. Although, like, most of the time she has to censor her chest because YouTube, so unfortunately, you know, and it's just like, I can't talk about any of these beats. Like, recently now, she's playing Mario Odyssey. That's pretty cool. I might actually check that out and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, videos are ML. Unfortunately, I don't know too much about you, and unfortunately, I did not get the chance to see all your old stuff before they were available and gone. But 
you know, I still support, and um, I, I might check out more of her cooking stuff eventually. I need to check out more of Mel, so yeah, that's my take on Yozora Mel. I mean, she seems pretty cool and cute, so and chill, so we'll take a look at that once um, once she gets more videos because gosh darn man, like it's just a shame once again, just seeing that all their stuff is gone, just like it's like what, 3, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 30, like 36 videos only? Like, come on. Like, there's probably a lot more that I'm missing out on, unfortunately. So that's Mel. You know, I'm sorry, Mel fans, but uh, I promise to look up more Mel stuff in the future. Next up in the first gen, we got Natsuhiro Matsuri. Now, that she is very infamous. Like, one of the very first clips I've seen of, Na of Matsuri was um what is it exactly i don't know she's basically playing minecraft all right and um she's like on top of like one of the characters and stuff and um you know doing things to them and stuff um aside from that what else she seems very uh she's playing like rage is it is it rage mario or cat mario that's shit that's old ass game i forget exactly what that game's called but there's, she's playing that game and she's basically super raging and very um could be very loud at times and very um you know, acting all cutesy and idol-like and stuff and on the first thought, but then on the second, like, uh, on when you look away and come back, he's, like, super explosive and chaotic and stuff. Chaotic lawful. Is that a thing? I don't know exactly. So, let me see here. Masuri is energetic, expressive, and a chaotic individual who seems to do outrageous and lewd things because she can. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's not gonna disagree with that. Uh, however, underneath her naughty and tom tomboyish exterior, she is actually a sensitive, emotionally intelligent young girl who can speak frankly and maturely about a variety of topics. And uh, yeah, that's actually, you know what, really true because recently, I forget recently, uh, I think she had her anniversary video or stream recently, right? And like, uh, she's doing like a 3D thing and I thought it was pretty cool. That brings up a good point, yeah, like, the, in the very beginning, right, when I first learned about Matsuri, I saw all those, like, outrageous, like, really loud, chaotic clips and stuff, and I thought, I was like, you know, she's a pretty energetic, chaotic girl, but then, like, you know, deep down, behind that whole exterior thing and the whole thing, you know, she's still a person and all the other VTubers are people, too, but, like, what was it? I forget what she's doing. Man. I think it was her anniversary, I, and she's doing a 3D thing, she had, like, Luna um join her and stuff she's um from fourth gen and basically like they have a super like deep connection and just basically like how they rely on each other and how like it's really uh grateful and thankful for everyone and like you know having her friends alongside with her i mean even so like back to the whole copyright wave thing like how they lost all their stuff and how like you know we don't know like how they feel about this stuff you know like Natsuri has like a, quite a lot of videos more than mel from the looks of it like still up and like, you know, I don't know how they feel about the whole thing. They're still just trying their best and trying to, you know, continue on and stuff. And that's pretty, that could be rough, you know, that's, that could be pretty rough. And, um, I don't, man, but do I have, do I not remember? Um, I don't think I've seen too much Matsuri stuff. I mean, I see her play a few Apex. I, mean, I see her play a lot of games with, um, who is it? It's Ayame. She has a thing for Bubuki, I guess. There's also that. Um, I, yeah, I've seen her play a few Minecraft, you know, stuff. She's doing stuff in Minecraft. She plays a lot with, um, Luna and, um, other, other VTubers and stuff. And, um, you know, it's very, I think she's really cool, honestly. I, I don't, like, dislike her or anything, and I haven't seen, like, a lot of her stuff too, too much. However, I got a good grasp of her personality and her character through other, you know, means and stuff. You get, there's actually a video that I did watch recently where it's called the Natsuro Matsuri Experience. I have yet to watch it, but however, that is a, a good video, and that the person made a pretty good videos, basically summarizes of the, all the Hall I've members from the first to fourth gen and stuff. That's actually how I got to learn more about the other VTubers. I didn't mention this actually in the beginning. I probably should have, but. So Matsuri is cool, right? Um, originally, when I first got into Hall Life, I watched the video from like what Coco and Miko, and uh, they were doing some elite English. And afterwards, I was just like, okay, these VTubers are cool. Like, how do I like how do I? I need to learn about all these VTubers because I don't know what the hell I'm getting into. And I basically typed in Hall Life. I'm pretty sure. Basically, the video that I got into, yeah, here it is. It's called the Perfect Guide to Hall Life. And this person made a very good presentation 
edit video thing of each girl from every generation and stuff and like their their quirks and their characters and stuff and um it was super helpful in like learning about everyone else and i was like okay so let me like this person does this and this person is like super uh tsundere or whatever let me look at her videos later and stuff and that's actually how i learned about everyone eventually right that's all yeah props to that video i'll probably put that video in the description because it helped me out a lot so much and it's honestly really good it has almost a million views so that's pretty good this thing is like pretty good and it's by kabuki buki that channel yes this person also made a bunch of other like videos where it's basically compilations of like so far he's done matsuri which i haven't seen yet because i just uploaded it eight hours He's done one for uh, you know, Korone, she's done one for Okakoro, so the ship, and then Okayu, Pekora, Fubuki, and all the other Hall Live people. So you have the China branch and the Hall of Stars and the Niji Sanji and stuff. So much VTuber love here, basically. So shout out to the channel and their vid because that helped me a lot in just basically learning about Hall Live. So there's that little introduction segment. So next, next VTuber, Aki Rosenthal. So this person, this one, I. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, just like Mel, I unfortunately don't know too much about Aki Rosenthal, unfortunately. Um, most of the people that I don't know of are like the very early, early generations. So Aki Rosenthal, let's take a look, shall we? Is this supposed to be like an elf, right? I'm assuming, or I, I forget exactly. Like, I, 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 I'm sorry, once again, I, I really have been like not too informative about uh Aki's channel although recently um I think like on the unfortunate side of things yeah um recent just recently right I'm pretty sure like she had like the lowest subscriber count out of all the VTubers and like she's like in the first generation so she's like one of the very earliest ones but she still has the lowest and then she made a video where like it made her you know, like she admits like you know it kind of makes me sad that I do have the lowest subscriber count but even so I still appreciate you know like everyone who joins me and stuff and like you know like joins the membership or comes to watch and uh you know all the new people and stuff and that honestly warmed my heart to an extent i was already subbed to her but i'm just like i don't watch too much of her stuff and then honestly after that she got a huge boom of subscribers so i think she was like 180 or something before and now she's past 200 000. and i'm just like damn that's pretty cool and i dig it so you know so far she's been playing death stranding recently i haven't like really got it into death stranding but um yeah she plays a lot of arc does a bunch of other things she's doing cooking videos too yeah unfortunately i don't know too much about aki's stuff her videos she has a consider considerate amount of videos still up but it looks like she plays a lot of arc yeah plays a lot of arc plays a lot of gaming stuff so yeah to reiterate with aki rosenthal she is an elf apparently i think she's pretty chill and honestly kind of cool um i mean I subbed to her, but I've yet to see any of her videos, and, you know, she was being super real, like, I don't know, like, about a few weeks ago and stuff, so, you know, I kind of, like, okay, you know, I kind of feel bad, I kind of need to, like, watch some of your stuff, because it's, like, most with Aki, I see her with, is it with Mel? I think Aki, was it, was that Mel? Shoot, it was someone, no, it was Mel and Choco that was doing something, okay, never mind, that's the whole Switch thing, but, you know, yeah, Aki Rosenthal, um, unfortunately, I don't know too much about her stuff or her vids, but, um, I will get to it. Yeah, once again, it's a shame that her videos are gone, but, like, she's, like, Aki's, like, on the list of, like, my bottom of my list of people that I don't know too much about, and I should probably change that eventually, so I'm sorry, Aki fans or whatever, so I'll get to it. Okay, next member, Shirakami Fubuki, whom I know very much, very well, because she is very huge, and a lot of people like her, and so do I. So, originally... When I first um, saw Fubuki, I'm pretty sure, what was it? What was it? There's like so many videos of Fubuki, right? Like literally she does a bunch of like short meme videos and stuff. She's a super memer. And um, like Fubuki is usually always cheerful, excited, singing little songs and making many jokes. Yeah, so uh, Fubuki is also part of the Hall Live Gamers, which is like a separate generation or separate category and stuff. Although she's part of the first gen, which is really weird, so she's part of two things. So uh, she's a pretty good gamer, you know, she's pretty adorable, and um, as a gamer, like, yeah, so here's like how I discovered her, right? She is a gamer. She is also quote, questionably a whale. 
for Gotcha, right? Because back in the day, I saw that she used to play FGO, and I'm just like, instant, I like you. You you understand. You are you are one of us, you know, sort of thing. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't play FGO too much anymore. She plays Arknights, which um, you know, I see Arknights everywhere because of ads. But um, you know, she's still like a Gotcha, a Gotcha gamer, so she's into that. She can spend like loads of money trying for characters, and um, I know how that feels. So. Respect, or not respect, but like, you know, I, I resonate with her. She plays a few other games. She used to play like a lot of Dead by Daylight too. And I was like, another game that I played that I resonate with, great, awesome. She also played Persona 5, and I recently discovered her Persona 5 uh, playthrough. I don't know if it's still here though. I think she's still, yeah, she has a lot of, lot of videos to love, thankfully. So yeah, super big gamer. She is part of Hollow Gamer. She's played like Animal Crossing. She's played Apex. Arc Knights, Death Stranding. Um, recently, she's been playing Mario Sunshine, and I'm just like, another clap on the back for you because that was one of my favorite games as a kid. I'm um, watching her play that too. Um, play, she's, she's like, basically plays so many games, and there's so much on her channel you could look at and stuff. Like, it's so, like, there's so much stuff here to look at. Like, a bunch of videos. Like, honestly, if you, like, look up one of the First things for Fubuki, it's the Scat Man because she memes about doing a bunch of like dances and songs and stuff. Like she did this, the Scat Man, and then recently she did a freaking JoJo opening sort of Cheetah Man thing. I'm just like, oh my goodness, this girl's a meme. Goodness, ah, Fubuki's great. Who is great? So yeah, she's super, super, super entertaining and super memeing, and a gamer, huge gamer, huge, huge gamer. Like there's so many games she plays on there. And recently she got a like a new uh what you call it 2d model and stuff updated and it looks awesome and she has like actually a new costume too like a, i think it's like a hall of gamer costume or whatever it's basically a different outfit from her usual thing it's like a jacket and then like she can do like twin tails or whatever with it it's pretty awesome really dig it so yeah fubuki is honestly probably like i think fubuki is like the highest subscribed one right i think she's the highest subscribed person on v on hall live and you know i mean she does a lot of stuff. She does like so many things. She's a gamer, memer. She's a fox, not a cat. And um, she can be super adorable and uh, super entertaining and stuff. So like uh, originally back in the day, I thought she was like my favorite VTuber. Uh, I was like, you know, I resonate, you play FGO. I resonate you, you are a gamer. You do some weird, funny memes and stuff. And um, she can speak some English, not to too much extent. Like at most I've seen her speak English was like, I am a fox, not a cat and stuff. So, but you know, unfortunately the title for favorite Hall Life member goes to someone else, Fubuki, but she's still great. She's honestly really great. And honestly, probably a lot of people like her and stuff. So that's it for Fubuki. Now we can move on to the second generation. Next generation, starting with the second gen, we have Ozora Subaru. Now, just recently, I've been getting into Subaru because um, what really, really got me hooked into Subaru and her channel was um, I recently watched her play uh, Detroit Become Human, and she was really into that game. And you know, that's a pretty good game. Detroit Become Human is a really good game. I have completed it myself. I did like one video on it on my channel, and that was it, and, or in fact, one or two. But yeah, I know how it ends, and I, I've seen like a lot of people play Detroit Become Human, but I watched her play Detroit Become Human, and it was really unique because I'm just like, oh, I've never seen like a, like a, you know, non-American gamer or whatever play this game, and like, you know, most of it's like, it's in America, Detroit, right? And I'm just like, watching her play this game and really get into the characters, and like, she cried in the end, and then I cried in the end, and I'm just like, damn, okay, you know what, I'm sold. I like you a lot now, so. Yeah, Alzora Subaru. Shuba, Shuba, Shuba. Subaru tends to be a rather loud and boyish in nature. She is confident, hardworking, always optimistic, even in situations that would discourage most people. She usually acts as the, the straight man during collaborations by pointing out the ridiculousness of whatever other members are saying or doing. That is actually really true. Because a lot of the time, I, like some of the clips I've seen after watching uh, into her channel, right, is that she's really trying to get really friendly and get to know every single member of Hall Life. And that was honestly surprising. And I was like, that's another factor like I never considered because you have like four generations, right? And five people or five VTubers every generation. I can't expect like every single like uh, member to be 
buddy buddy with everyone unless like you know you develop that right like i would imagine like um because the recent fifth generation is out right now right so yeah all the fifth generation members are really buddy buddy with each other now because they're like you know oh hey we're like debating the same time we should like stick together and then we'll get to know our senpais in the fourth and lower gens and stuff like that right but yeah i've seen a few videos where subaru is like really trying to get to know every single person and stuff i think i seen one with um with coco and that was honestly pretty funny and stuff i think she's like talking with mio too like mio and subaru are just like trying to like get to like talk and like know each all the other members and stuff and i'm just like damn that's pretty cool and stuff so what else here um I also like her outfit. She used to have like two different outfits and stuff. She had like a, what was it? Like a, like a shirt and like a cap. But now she has like some kind of like idle, like a uh, uniform thing going on and stuff. And I was like, you know, that's pretty cool and stuff. So after I watched her play, what was it? Detroit Become Human, right? I started like looking more into her channel and stuff. And among other things, um, she, um, what else? She did play Assassin's Creed. She started playing Assassin's Creed. I don't know if she's played that like recently because of the whole copyright stuff. Let me see. Yeah, it's been four weeks since she's played that game again. But I mean, you, can, you gotta be careful what they're playing right now. So yeah, um, aside from that, I've seen her play Left 4 Dead too with um, some of the, the gamers and stuff. That shit was entertaining as fuck, man. Like I've seen, like Subaru, honestly, because she's very straightforward and stuff and um, really friendly and buddy-buddy with everyone else, she could honestly be really great. Like she's like honestly super cool and stuff. I really dig it. So what else? Um... She does like a news channel thing, I think, or like she like a, she does like a, some videos where she talks about some other things. I think she does talk about like other VTubers and stuff because um, I remember one of the recent clips now is like she's talking about like Coco and like her Reddit uh, meme stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else you got here? Sounds great. Yeah, honestly, like a lot of her videos got hit, unfortunately. And I'm seeing not too many things here anymore. She has like a lot of chill talk streams. That's pretty cool. Um, Ark, Ark, Assassin's Creed, Dark Deception. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Sparrow, unfortunately, got hit like really hard. And a lot of her stuff is gone, unfortunately. Like her Detroit get, uh, playthrough, which I was so dang like emotional towards, is gone. So I can't really look back at that anymore. Um, but you know, Subaru's cool. I really dig Subaru, and honestly, it just like it just takes like one video to get into like a person. So that's you know, I wish the best for her stuff because she is still still going strong. Thank goodness. So yeah, Subaru, one of my recent like what should I call it? Recent like favorites so far. Like I I just got into so Subaru's cool. Really dig it. Next in Hall Life Second Gen, we have Yuzuki Choko. Now, goodness, ah, oh man, I don't know, like, there are, like, vampires, there are elves, and there are succubuses in, like, succubi in the, the members, and I'm just like, shit, is, is, Ch Choco has to be a vampire, right? I'm pretty sure, she has the freaking, oh, she has horns, though, she a demon, okay, duh, never mind, Choco is a demon working as a health doctor of the Demonic Realm Academy, she is very popular among both males and females in the school, and, yeah, Okay, so yeah, she's supposed to be like a teacher, basically. She's called Choco Sensei for a reason, or and stuff. And she's a demon, noted. Okay, so Choco Sensei, unfortunately, do I know a lot of her stuff? I don't think I do. Let me check out her channel real quick. Cause once again, oh, actually, you know what? Yeah. So most of the stuff that I've seen from Choco Sensei is um, she does play a few like um, I wouldn't say like. Gay, well, she's she's a gamer, but I mean, like, she's played like Dead by Daylight with Fubuki and some of the other people and stuff. And Subaru, I think Subaru played Dead by Daylight before too. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't remember shit. But um, yeah, I seen her play that game a lot, and I'm just like, oh, cool. Like she's a gamer to an extent. And then aside from other things, she usually like does like I think ASMR. I'm pretty sure a lot of ASMR for reasons. And, um, recently, looks like she's been playing Apex, um, a lot of horror games, Apex, um, does she do cooking videos too? Or is that just Mel? No, I'm pretty sure that's just Mel, right? What else here? She has a considerable amount of her videos to love, but I mean, there's probably a lot of stuff gone. Yeah, she's a, she can be a huge gamer. I see a lot of Apex on here, a lot of, like, chill talk streams and stuff. And then, you know, alternating and stuff. So she's pretty cool. Honestly, 
Um, with Chago Sensei, I mean, she's a demon, she's a nurse sort of thing, and um, her design is very, um, you know, as I say. And like, what, like honestly, the very first video I ever saw of Choco is uh, with her and Mel doing the the freaking Nintendo Switch game where they're milking the cow. And honestly, that shit is just like, every single time I imagine Chaco Sensei, I just see that because I was just like, so dang, like really huge first impression thing with uh with that. So I'm just like, okay then, I see, I see, I understand. But um, yeah, aside from that, I've, I've seen her play Dead by Daylight a few times, but um, I've yet to see anything else. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Apex or Valorant, but they play it a lot and stuff. Recently, actually, yeah, she did get a live 2D update. She she and a lot of people got live 2D updates, like Hato, Fubuki, Shion, they got updates and stuff too. And honestly, it's pretty funny because in her new model, she can actually use her arms to cover her chest because YouTube, once again, like Mel and Choco Sensei, they got that. They have to, they have the similarity. They got to deal with that sort of thing, you know? What else here? I would like to check out more Chaco, you know? I, I need to see. I didn't watch her play this, like, JRPG game, too, actually. I forgot about that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chaco fans, but, like, I, I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know what else she's done before because they're all gone, all the vids and stuff, unfortunately. Oh, she does a few cooking videos. Oh, yeah, she does do cooking stuff, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've seen her do a few cooking stuff. Okay. I'm not delirious. I know my stuff. Just a bit. So, yeah, I think she's cool. I just haven't like gotten like a video that I'm just like, yes, hardcore fan. And I'm just like, yes, super cool. Like she does like a variety of things. That's pretty cool to see. So I really like, well, once again, I like her, but like I need to go sit my ass down and watch a bunch of her stuff. Like eventually, eventually, you know, next member in second generation, we have Murasaki Shion, whom I don't know too much too. Well, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Shion's like on the scale of the bottom where I'm like, I don't know too much about you. Shion is a smug, cheeky brat, Kusogaki, yeah, that sounds right, who speaks bluntly with the usual politeness consideration associated with the Japanese language and flirts shamelessly with other Hall Live members. That is also true. She wants to be seen as an adult, but thanks to her childish appearance and mannerisms, all attempts by Shion to appear adult like end up looking very silly. She has a friendly rivalry with Minato Aqua and the two can often be seen playing petty and most harmless pranks on each other. One of her most iconic cries is her scream of NEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEE
Um, recently, I did see her new live 2D model and stuff, and um, you know that's that's like a cool improvement compared to what she had last time. And um, in terms of songs, I guess she just had like this new cover, but uh, cover song from two weeks ago from a uh, Yoasobi. That's pretty awesome. I dig that art, the song, and the artist. Honestly, my friends got me into Yoasobi, and I haven't talked about too much of the music stuff with uh, Hollow Live and the VTubers because, um, honestly, like they're all like some of them got content claimed and privated and stuff. But um, you know, sometimes they might make a cool like OG song, or original song, or cover song that I really dig and it's just like super cool to listen to. Um, I'll talk about that mostly with Fourth Gen, but um, yeah, it looks like she don't play a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. She does a few horror games. She she's like huge gamer and stuff um these are what chats and stuff chill and chatting and stuff yeah that's pretty cool um she also has a switch so she plays a lot of nintendo games and stuff too apex apex i don't see too much arc surprisingly mario kart animal crossing uh Ar okay there's arc okay yeah, there's a few arc minecraft and she still plays minecraft to this day i'm pretty sure right from the looks of it oh mahjong minecraft yeah she plays she plays a lot of games honestly you know um, I don't know too much about Xion, and I haven't sat down to watch all of her stuff, unfortunately, but I think she's cool, and I think I'd like, like her videos a lot. I need to see these Minecraft things, eventually, so that's cool. Honestly, she did do, like, a 3D horror VR game with a Coco recently. I think it was just yesterday, and I didn't see that, and I want to check that out, so that's pretty cool, awesome to see. So yeah, Xion's, a, Xion's an interesting character, and she does a lot of variety of stuff, and I think her personality... Even though it's on the, like, the smuggy kid brat kind of thing, I think it's still pretty funny. And it can be adorable at times. We'll see. But yeah, Xion's cool. I think she's cool. Uh, I haven't seen her too much of her stuff, unless I'm like forgetting because it got deleted. But yeah, I think she's cool. I'd like to see more of her stuff. Now, Kiri Ayame, one of my newest favorite people because her design's awesome. And if, if you guys are on the, the know... She looks like a certain FGO character. That's all I have to say. It's up to you to fill in the blanks, FGO fans. Nakiri Ayame. Um, not too much better. So basically, she is an Oni, right? And um, I think she calls like her fans, like, what was it, like, humans or whatever, basically, because she's like an Oni, whatever. Now, Ayame, from like, because I just recently like started watching her stuff, right? She is a, apparently like super good at Apex and Valorant and those kind of like, what do you call those games? Like, I haven't played those games in a long time. Like, competitive shooters or whatever and stuff. So, yeah, she, I see her a lot of times playing Valorant and um, Apex. And she's just really good, apparently. She's, like, super into those games. So, oh, no. Wait, really? No. Man, her channel got hit so damn hard. She only has, like, 24 videos. No freaking way. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, that's a shame, man. I really like her stuff, dude. Even the cover song she did is gone. Oh man, okay, so yeah. Um, Ayame recently, um, one of the very first videos that I watched from her, like, or I wasn't with video, I watched her do a cover song of like a Vocaloid song, and like, I was like, you know what? She seems pretty interesting. I need to check out her stuff. And then that's how I discovered her. You know, she's super godly at Valorant or Apex and stuff. And literally her channel right now is only like a big majority of it's Valorant and Apex, unfortunately. Damn, that sucks so bad. Man. Man. Oh, man. I feel this whole thing. Man. That's not cool. Um, yeah, recently uh, I watched a bunch of the Apex and Valorant, and then recently she got like a live 2D update with her model and stuff, and that was cool too. Honestly, it's super way more expressive, and I think um, she's a uh, pretty cool, pretty adorable. And once again, I'm biased because she looks like a certain FGO character. So um, yeah, damn, that's that's all I can say, man. Because literally her channel is all Apex and Valorant. All the stuff is gone. 30 videos at most from the looks of it. That's like. What? No, not even 30. 24. Wait, 3, 3, 6, 6, 12, 20 videos. Never mind. I That's even worse. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got me so sorry. This is, this is unfortunate. I really like her, too. You know, I got recently got into her for her cover song. Once again, Bias. She looks like an FGO character. And she's a, as a gamer, she's a super competitive gamer. And she's pretty adorable. And her, with her model, too, like her op model update, she's like super adorable. Which is why, in FGO, I'm going to get a certain servant. So, yeah. 
Um, that's all I can talk about Ayame, unfortunately, man. That's uh, that sucks, dude. I, I want to see all of her old stuff. Well, that's it for Ayame. Next up, the last and second gen Hall Live, we have Minato Aqua. So, just recently, well, I don't see too much. Well, have I seen? Oh, actually, no, yeah. Recently, I've been seeing her play uh, Orcarina of Time, which is a huge classic. And I was like, yo, you're playing Orcarina of Time? Like, damn, that's a classic game. I dig it. I've been watching her play that stream. Um, but back before that, I mean, the most that I've seen or heard of Aqua is that she's called Bakwa and she's a crying onion and that's kind of weird, but yeah, so Aqua is a bumbling airhead who somehow manages to become the victim of every joke she gets involved in. She's also childish, childish and prone to throwing tantrums, smashing her keyboard and hyperventilating when things don't go as planned, which is most of the time. Wow, okay. She enjoys playing pranks and causing mischief, but it almost always backfires due to a combination of poor planning and bad luck. To make things worse, Aqua makes no attempt to avoid embarrassing situations to the point that many wonder if she might actually be masochistic. However, while Aqua appears to be an incompetent crybaby, she is deceptively skilled at highly technical video games like Sekiro, Dark Souls, Apex Legends, Diamond Rank, damn, okay, League of Legends, what? And she's also a profile streamer with records of five streams in a single day. What the heck? Really? According to other Hall Live members, Aqua is kind and responsible, but, but extremely introverted while off camera and only opens up while streaming. Ooh, wow. And let me see your channel. Her channel has a good, good amount of portions of videos still here. That's, that's, that's good to see. It's way more than Ayami's, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, she can be a huge crybaby at times. Most of the stuff that I've seen from clips and like getting to know her was of her like trying to do pranks or you know being a crybaby or like you know like um, being super loud when things don't go planned or whatever. So that's like my impression of her. But um, she's still pretty cool. Like uh, I re I did see her. Like she's like one of the characters in um Azir Lane that you can get right. And I'm just like you know I think you're cool and stuff. And yes, she can be a crybaby at times, but she can, uh, she's apparently really good at gaming, which I've never seen because I've yet to watch too much of her stuff. Like, she played Apex. I'm seeing here Apex. She played League back in the day? I don't see any League videos here. Yeah, so Minecraft. She's a huge prankster in Minecraft, from what I remember, at least. She plays a few horror games, and the horror games are freaking hilarious, from the, from what I remember, at least, from clips. Um, let's see here. A lot of uh, Mario Kart, Apex, Minecraft, um, you know, other horror games, collabs with the other guys, doing cover songs. She has a few cover songs up still, that's that's really good. But yeah, recently she's been playing a lot of Apex, Zelda on their solo time. Yeah, you know, I, sh like, I feel like I've seen a lot of her stuff. It's just like, I can't remember everything, but I think for a fact that I think Mina Aqua is cool. And most of the times, I always hear her get referred to as an on uh, crying as onion is because of her head, <laughs> because it looks like the shape of like a purple onion or whatever. That's in the meme review, right? And um, you know, her character design is pretty cool too. I really dig it. She like has like the sailor maid outfit thing going on and stuff. I think she's cool. I think Aqua is cool. You know what? I need to sit down and watch some more Aqua stuff. I feel like I would enjoy this shit a lot. I need to like, I need to get on that. So yeah, that's Aqua. Aqua's cool. I think Aqua's cool. As much as people like meme about her being a crybaby and how she's like very um thing. I can I can I can dig that. So that's Hall of Life Second Gen. So Alright, next generation. So this isn't technically a next generation, but it's like the gamers category, right? Now the gamers is really small, so I guess we'll go through this really fast. But um in Hall of Life Gamers there are four members and we've already talked about one, which is Fubuki, so we don't have to go through that. Let's talk about Mio whom I recently am starting to super like, but she's on break, unfortunately, because out of the copyright wave, she got hit the hardest. So that is a huge shame, unfortunately. And honestly, I was really starting to like to check out her stuff, unfortunately. So Mio is frequently described by fans and other Hall Livers as being mature, responsible, and level-headed when compared to her peers. She's regarded as being exceptionally kind, even among the already enormously friendly Hall Life staff, with both fans and peers frequently seeking her personal advice. This friendly and wise persona has earned her the popular nickname as Mio Mama. Yes, I can totally see that. Despite these mature traits, Mio is frequently touted as one of the biggest scaredy cats in Hall Life. Among Hall Life's roster, Mio is one of the most susceptible to horror games, horror movies, or scares in horror themed games. 
This aspect of her personality is also supported by um, the animated shorts that they do. She has stated that she sometimes has to suppress her more wild wolf-like instincts and compulsions. And, um, yeah, um, she is a fox? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, she's a wolf. Yeah, she's a wolf. Okami means wolf. Duh. Okay. So, yeah, Mio. Um, Mio is really awesome. So, yeah, one, once again, with, like, what they said here. She does, she's super, super scared with horror games and horror things. And, honestly, I think recently... I did watch her, like, she was, like, watching horror movies with the other people, and, like, she was just, like, super being a scary cat. And honestly, super dig that so much. It's adorable and stuff. Now, her channel doesn't yet hit too much, though. Like, her videos are still here, but from what I hear from, like, all over the internet and stuff, is that, like, the copyright and stuff mostly affected her channel because she's played like a few like games by a certain companies that I won't name because I don't know if it's right or not which caused her to freaking take a hiatus break and stuff and like she really wants to come back like if you follow her on social media this is so like heart heartfelt man it's like emotional but like yeah so she like announced afterward like a few a little bit after like the whole copyright wave happened like she, you know, she's been taking a break like a month or something like that right i don't know if it's been a month already but like yeah she like unfortunately had to take a break and then like even to this point like you know when she's like not streaming or doing anything like they're getting the whole copyright wave stuff getting sorted out she's like on twitter like writing diaries and like um you know posting it on her social media and stuff with pics and stuff and just like you know like oh today i was able to you know i was doing some vocal training and stuff and uh you know for when i come back or you know i was playing with my cat or something like that she has a cat in real life and it's pretty adorable when she interrupts the stream sometimes and um I was, among other things like talking about the fifth gen members and how they debuted and stuff and i was like you know oh man mio's mio's cool and she's also in azure lane too goodness great man mio's you know, uh, do I have anything from Mio like that I remember from before? Shh, I don't think I do. Honestly, I think Mio is really cool now that I think about it. Like, I kind of took it for granted just a bit, but then after the whole like copyright wave hit happened and how she's like, you know, being super affected by it and thinking about her character and her like, you know, her vids and personality and stuff, she's cool. She's really cool. Like, a lot of the things that I've seen from her was the whole horror game stuff. And honestly, watching her play horror games is so damn adorable it's so damn thing she always has to have like someone else like accompanying her in horror games i don't think she ever plays horror games by herself which is super adorable and yeah she can also be like a huge like lead or like a mom at times because she's like um at the times when subaru was um you know trying to get to know every single other vtuber or hall of life member and stuff it would always be mio doing the, like the you know being the middleman and stuff you know trying to like uh help out and stuff so that's pretty cool she has a bunch of karaoke stuff too she's playing a lot of arc <laughs> she's playing getting over it oh no i can only imagine arc getting over it um, a bunch of other collabs with the gamer she's a gamer so she plays a lot of games and stuff although yeah she has a few karaoke stuff too yeah all most of her stuff got hit uh, one of the biggest and most funniest clips I ever saw with Mio is with her talking to Coco and trying to, like, you know, learn some English and stuff. This is super funny. So, essentially, um, Coco teaches her how to say, like, fucking and then, like, uh, you know, like other English things. Like, oh, I'm fucking cute or something like that. And that's super huge video. You can, always, you can probably look that up on YouTube and stuff. It's super, like, Mio trying to learn English or something like that, right? That's super adorable, too. And, um, yeah, man. Also... She's, like, referred to as having a stand. Yeah, she has, like, this, like, animal thing that sits in the corner with, like, a video and stuff. And she refers to it as a stand. So, just by that, she is a huge JoJo fan or, like, you know, like, an anime fan to an extent. So, um, I dig. So, that's awesome. So, that's cool. Also, her design's really cool. And, um, once again, I think she was playing... Was she playing? Yeah, she was playing Left 4 Dead with everyone. That's why I saw her doing. And, like, she's honestly so damn funny. Like, I like her so much. Like, in Left 4 Dead, she's the one that gets attacked by all the zombies. That's her character. And it's so damn, like... I like it. I like it a lot. I really, I really like, wish Mio comes back soon and, like, she gets everything sorted out. It's so a thing. And then her social media, like, with her diary, visual picture diary and stuff... Oh, man, Mio. Mio's awesome. So next, next in the Hall of Gamers, we have 
Uh, I don't know what to talk about next because they both come in pairs, but let's just put both of them up together. We have Nekomata Okayu. So she is a cat girl and um, she is part of the gamers. Now, when I refer to Okayu and Corona together, because most of the time they are always together, and most of the clips that I see online on YouTube are always of them together, so that's how I'm going to refer to this most of the time because that's how I've seen so much of her stuff. With the YouTube channel, I said the Kabuki Buki guy or a person, they have a video with called the Nekomata, uh, uh, the, the Okayu experience, so you can totally watch that. It's like a huge compilation of Okayu stuff. But Okayu is typically very relaxed, free-spirited, and also somewhat of a playboy. She sometimes flirts openly with other Hall Life members just to see their reactions, as also known for impulsively swiping food. She never denies her wrongdoings. Despite her laid-back personality, Okayu can get very emotional when playing games to the point that she can break down into tears during emotional moments in the story. This happened most notably when she finished Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, where she cried on stream after being in the game for a few minutes and needed a moment to compose herself. Um, very, yes, very true. So, yes, she's a super big gamer. Let me actually check her, her YouTube channel. She's very free-spirited, and a lot of the times that I see her on, like, compilations of her on YouTube, she's always trying to hit on the other girls. Although, everyone knows that the true ship is with her and Korone, because apparently, from what I've recently discovered, is that Korone and uh, Okayu, like, have known each other in real life before joining Hall Life or something like that. I forget exactly what was that video, but, like... I could have sworn that was a thing. Yeah, so essentially, like, her and Okayu, like, cat and dog, you know, very interesting pair. They, like, they're just, like, super great friends with each other. And honestly, the whole internet and YouTube ship them and stuff. Um, aside from that, other things, she has been known to swipe food from people. She's just super, like, very, very carefree and just, like, you know, I was like, whoop, I'll take that and stuff. And, um, I haven't seen her play Link's Awakening, but I have seen the clip of her crying in that game, so yeah. At most, like, I've seen her was during the, the Left 4 Dead thing for the group. And she's honestly, like, this huge lead. She's basically, like, the most, like, probably, um, probably, like, the most proficient gamer out of all of them and stuff. Looking at her channel, we have here a bunch of, like, uh, ASMR, Apex, um, horror games, um, more horror games, Apex, getting over it. Um, Apex, uh, Left 4 Dead, there's the Left 4 Dead video, oh yeah, still here, thank goodness. Um, horror games, uh, other, she's playing Paper Mario recently, actually, that's the new Paper Mario, the origami Paper Mario, that's pretty interesting, I liked Paper Mario as a kid. Uh, maybe I might check her, I've seen her, like, play a few of it before, but I haven't watched it from the start. Oh, that's the very first video, never mind, yeah. Um, playing games with Okayu, more games with Okayu and stuff, yes, more games with Okayu. Yeah, so very, I think a lot of her stuff got hit, unfortunately. Yeah, so Okayu is very, can be very, actually, you know what, no. So one of the most recent videos I've seen with Okayu, right, is like she's doing a chill or a karaoke stream or something like that, right? She's doing a talking stream or chill. And essentially, one time she was like talking about how like she didn't like her voice before. And like, I don't know if people made fun of it or whatever, but then after joining Hall Live, Oh no, I think she just didn't like her voice. And then after joining Hall Live and people saying that she was, they like, you know, her viewers and fans was like, oh yeah, we really like your voice. We really like support you and stuff. And then she started to like, really like her voice afterwards. So I'm just like, that's such a heart felt moment and stuff. It's also like a highly regarded video. You can probably look it up if you just like, um, let me see, Okayu doesn't like her voice. Yeah, doesn't like her voice. That's basically like, if you switch it up in search bar, it's what pops up. And that was super heartfelt. And then, you know, I think that's one of the other moments after I watched that after the whole Left 4 Dead thing and then after that I was like you know what I really like Okayu let me see like all of her stuff and then that's when I discovered that she's a huge like she has a huge like really good friendship with Krone so yeah that's how I really found out about these two and um shipped them very close actually yeah let's it's right here in the trivia Okayu is very close to Krone having been good friends with her before joining Hall Live very good and she also owns a cat too actually she does have a cat it's very interesting. A lot of Hall Life members do have cats. So that's Okayu. Now we're going to transition into Corona because they're basically hand in hand. Actually, yeah, recently I did watch them play like um, a Switch game. They're like playing party games with each other. It's so damn entertaining. And they even like, I forget, like, they like, um, like hanged out together and did like a 24 hour stream or something like that together. I don't know if it was a 24 hour stream, but they would like stream together in the same house and like sleep together and like just like, you know, hang out and chill and stuff. So that's. Like I said, everyone in the internet ships these two, so do I. 
Next, Inugami Krone. She is a super huge dog, or dog character, basically. And um, Krone has a sweet and goofy personality comparable to that of an actual dog. She often kisses other Hall Life members for no reason, has a high-pitched laugh that resembles a train whistle or a flute, and like most dogs, Krone is very loyal, specifically to <laughs> Neko, Amada, Okayu. The two are rarely seen apart, and their pair is called Oka Koro. While her activities are usually wholesome, Krone can also be unintentionally terrifying at times. For example, she accidentally revealed that she had searched for torture execution methods in her mobile browser, historically laughed while playing Doom, and um, oh my, yeah, she played heroin, ooh. Krone has a fondness for retro games, especially those that are more niche or even poorly made. She gets a lot of amusement from the strangeness of these games, and often laughing at how absurd they can be. Krone is greeting her viewers with Yubi Yubi, which originated from her desire to have her own unique greeting. During her first stream with the only other members of Hall Love Gamers, Krone noticed that she was the only one out of the group who did have her own unique greeting. She joked about possibly greeting her viewers by asking for their fingers, after which they would reply Yubi Yubi in return. So yeah, um, a lot of the, her whole Yubi Yubi thing is so dang weird because she apparently played like, ha, uh, what was the game called? Heavy Rain, which is kind of like a Detroit Become Human. And I've never played that game, but I've seen it, so I know what the whole thing is about. I don't think that game is in her thing anymore though, unfortunately. Let me see. Oh wait, is it not Siren? Uh, I don't think she has the Heavy Rain game in here anymore. That is a shame. I would have liked to see her play that game now that I know this. So yeah, she there's a huge thing about her and like Yubi Yubi because like in the game you had to like cut your fingers off to save like someone, and then that's basically how it started. I guess now she's just like Yubi Yubi and stuff all the time. So yeah, very cheerful, very sweet, funny, and um, honestly she's like just really straight up awesome and stuff. Like I think um, with her I see a lot of times she like would try to. You know, Google Translate and communicate with her English viewers all the time, like off time and stuff. And like, it's just like a huge thing to see her put effort to like trying to talk to her overseas viewers and stuff. And I just, it's really wholesome. I really dig it, you know? Um, what else? Yeah, like, like I said, her whole ship with Oko, Kor, Oko Koro and uh, Okayu is just like adorable. She can be very, very um, terrifying indeed because of the whole. I've never seen her play Doom. But, like, she can play, like, uh, you know, those kind of games and just be, like, super chaotic and stuff at times. Let me see her channel. So, she plays a lot of retro games. I do know that for a fact because she's played, like, a bunch of old games. I think I've seen her play uh, Klonoa, and that's a very old-ass game and a character, if you know that. Um, her channel got hit a lot because I don't see her Heavy Rain in here. I don't see, like, a lot of things in here. Aside from that, I have seen her play uh, Left 4 Dead with everyone else. She's, um... She can be uh, very, very fun and stuff, and very cheerful. Let me see her stuff. Bunch of retro games. She plays Splatoon, Super Mario. Um, very, very bunch of old retro games. Interesting, interesting in fact. Mill Slug, Ib, uh, Birthday Streams, Videos with the Caillou, Animal Crossing, Siren. Is this, is, is Siren? No, is this a horror game? Oh shit, I might have to watch her play this. This thing's still up. This is a PS2 game? Okay, this is good. I need to I need add this to watch later. Yes. Okay, cool. Bunch of other things. Dragon Lair. Uh, more horror games. Subnautica. Cl oh, her Klonoa gameplay is in here, is it? Is this it? Oh shit, it is in here. Oh, I gotta watch this. It's still here. Nice. Apex. Getting over it. ASMR. Oh, that's like, oh shit. Oh my goodness! She freaking watched Midsommar on stream? No freaking way. Oh my god, I don't want to watch that shitty movie. I'm not going to say shitty, but like I don't want to watch that movie again. That's just so damn weird. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, she has some interesting things. Uh, Dog Dome, I, she's player seen her play Doom. Um, other things, Left 4 Dead. Oh man, that's just great. So yeah, she plays a lot of... You know, even though she does play a bunch of retro games, she's playing Kirby 64 from the looks of it recently. You know, I think it's pretty cool how she likes to, you know, do her own thing and play retro games and stuff. It's pretty interesting. And, um, like I said, the times that she plays with, uh, Okayu is, uh, adorable and stuff. I ship them very hard, just like the internet. And, um, it's just a thing. Oh, oh, she played Donkey Kong with Kansa? Oh, shit, man. I need to see more con uh, Corona stuff, dude. Like this is like something. Like I don't, I never, I don't know anything about Doom. I've never seen Doom before, but I should probably watch her play that. There's like a few of her stuff still up here, so I should probably check these out. So yeah, Okayu, I think she's really adorable. And like once again, if you see her playing with Okayu, uh, Okayu Corona, yeah, Corona is 
awesome and adorable and dog doggo so yubis and stuff so i think she's really great and stuff i'd really dig um watching more of her stuff actually now that i think about it because like i said their channels got hit and i don't know what i'm missing all right that's it for Hall of Life Gamers. Out of all, I, I, out of the gamers, I really like all of them. Like seriously, like if I haven't talked about Fubuki, but we already talked about Fubuki. But like the gamers are a solid cast of YouTubers that I really enjoy, and I really like seeing them play together, which is because they're the gamers. So yeah. So that's it for Hall of Life Gamers. We'll move on to Generation Three. All right, next generation, Hall of Life Third Gen. So. This is the interesting generation because they are referred to as Hall of Life Fantasy because all the members are like fantasy characters. Like you had a bunny, you had a necromancer, you had like a, like a dark elf, you had like a knight and a pirate or whatever. So yeah, you'll see the theme here. But Hall of Life Fantasy is a generation that I super dig a lot. And you'll see why the third and fourth gen I really dig a lot. So first off with Hall of Life third gen or Hall of Life Fantasy is Usada Pekora, who is, ooh, this is just like a huge favorite and everyone pretty much pretty much likes her a lot her laugh is contagious that's like the number one thing i could say about this right now so sada pecora um pecora hails from the nation of pecoland where she claims she is a member of royalty not much currently she is like a you know human with rabbit ears and stuff she's wearing like a bunny girl costume modified clothing and stuff Pecora is infamous for mischief to the point where other Hall Life members will instantly become suspicious of any project if they learn Pecora was involved in. Um, she has a huge uh, victim thing with uh, Miko and stuff. And um, Pecora has a distinctive laugh, frequently represented as text, as like a interesting text, and somewhat resembling of an older female aristocrat, and um, frequently interjects her sentences with Peko, and has been known for this eventually. Yeah, so Peko, Pecora is a. Uh, I gotta say, Pecora has to be, like, a very interesting character, honestly. Like, out of, like, all the other characters. Like, her third thing is, like, so damn, like, what you call it? It's addictive, I guess. Because her laugh is so damn contagious. I swear to goodness, if you look up, like, if you type up on YouTube, like, Pecora, it's probably gonna be, like, Pecora laugh. Yeah, Pecora laugh is, like, in the thing. Like, her laugh is so damn contagious. And the way that people subtitle it is so damn hilarious as well. And, um... Uh, the fact that she, like, sticks to her character, Peko, she, like, ends her sentences and injects Peko every single time, like, oh, good morning, Peko, or something like that, right? It's just, like, it's a super thing. And, you know, her design, I like her design a lot. She's, like, wearing the bunny girl thing, has a bunny scarf, she has carrots in her hair, because why not, and stuff, and, like, you know, re like, recently, I've been watching her play so many things. Like, I've seen her play Crash Bandicoot, which is, like, Oh, that was an experience, man. I was, like, so damn happy for her to finally complete that game. I seen her play Get Over It, and Get Over It was, like, a huge thing for her because she's now really good at it. Um, her and horror games, VR, no, she's just really, like, she's very scared in horror games and stuff. Her and um, Noelle in Fantasy also are very, very, no, 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 in horror games. Um, she's just very funny. And uh, also... Recently, she was just playing Dead. She played Dead by Daylight like 12 hours ago, and I watched that stream, and that shit was, um, instantly great, awesome, really nice. Recently, she's also been playing Super Mario 64, which is a huge classic game, honestly. Super Mario 64, and um, she's playing Death Stranding, some other horror games and stuff. Um, her karaoke and stuff, I've seen a few of those too. What else? Minecraft. Yeah, my Picora has so much like good stuff. I Picora is awesome. I really like her character. The clips online on YouTube and the compilations is always of her trying to do mischief and stuff, or you know, it's of her to laugh, or it's of her overreacting to things, or you know, like screaming or raging and stuff like that. She's a great character, honestly. Picora is awesome. One of my most actually another favorable clip that I've seen of her is like her playing like the online arcade claw games and stuff and she's just like really trying hard to get something but then someone like steals it or something like that that's so damn funny and stuff yeah Picora's awesome Picora's once again her laugh contagious her character contagious her personality funny as fudge and she's also she, she's got, she's wailed a few times on gotcha right she's played like princess uh, dive reconnect right i i could have sworn she's played those games too i can't find them here for some reason though i do recall seeing her wail for characters in gotcha games um i'm not i don't say wail but like she's trying to like roll for them but yeah 
She's awesome. Picora's awesome. Really huge fan favorite. And probably like a lot of people really like her a lot. So Picora. Peko, Peko, Peko. Peko. Shuba, Shuba. Okay. Next in Hall of Life Fantasy, Uraha Rushia. Another favorite of mine in Hall of Life Fantasy because everyone knows her. Rushia is a soft-spoken, somewhat naive girl who panics easily. While she is usually innocent and kind, she can occasionally become enraged and scream in an uncharacteristically beast-like manner before regaining her composure. Like, for example, playing Dark Souls on Mario Kart. Oh yeah, she, she her scream is um very well known. She is sensitive about her breast size, and both fans and other Hall Live members often tease her for it to the point that she will flinch whenever she hears someone say certain words and stuff. She also has a humorous yandere personality that can occasionally surface when people start talking too much about other VTubers instead of her. Yes, indeed. Rushia is, Rushi is adorable in those kind of senses. Like, once again, if you ever talk to Rujia, just don't say cutting board or wall or talk about her chest. That's it. It's super funny. She's boing boing, okay? Yeah. So, Rushia's great. Um, what is the very first um, video I've seen from Rushia? I don't think, I think one of the very first clips I've ever seen of Rushia wasn't like her playing games. Like, she was like playing Minecraft, but then she was trying to get cola. And then, like, the clip is called, like, Rushia dies trying to get cola, and then she's trying to get soda, and when she comes back, apparently she drops it and spills the cola all over. But, like, yeah, she has a bunch of clips like that where it's very cute and adorable sort of stuff. And, um, you know, like, everyone in all life thinks she's pretty cute and adorable. Yes, she, so, she can, like, really be, like, really quiet and, like, uh, polite and uh, adorable at times, although when shit goes wrong and she hits the fan she can scream very loud and stuff and that's just like it's very funny in times and she also has the yandere personality and stuff which is pretty funny to see sometimes um yeah don't call her a cutting board or a wall or don't call her flat yeah there's a lot of things like that too um one of the very first times i actually saw her stuff was her 3d debut and um that was honestly really cool because like it's just like you know the 3d debut of every single member is awesome but um She's played Resident Evil. I'm pretty sure that yeah, it's not on here anymore. I'm looking at her channel. Yeah, she's played Resident Evil. She's played a few horror games and stuff. And it's pretty awesome. Like, I wanted to check out all of her stuff. But, like, once again, the copyright wave hit and stuff. So that's unfortunate. Played a few ARC and stuff. She does a lot of karaoke uh, streams and stuff. A lot of chill talk times and, um, you know, quiet chill times. Horror games. Uh, more Apex. A lot of, like, chill talking and stuff horror games and stuff so i forget exactly what uh thing this was but um um she was playing against the muse dash game yeah that the one the one where you like you essentially like uh what you call it uh you use your voice to move the character or something like that I, yeah so i don't know if this is true or not but like apparently i learned that like she has asthma or something like that let me see if that's a true thing because i swear if that's like true then like you know I really feel bad now, the fact that like I really enjoy watching her scream all the time because if she has like asthma and stuff, then I really, that's just like, oh. Rushia, she's like, she's awesome, I really like her. And you know, like the fact that she's like always like really cute and adorable and quiet and then she all the time, randomly she can just like scream and be very loud and then yell at people and yell about like, you know, being called flat or uh, a, a cutting board or whatever. It's, it's adorable and stuff, however, like, the one time when she's, like, screaming super loud and using her voice, and I found it enjoyable and entertaining, and then to find out the fact that, like, you know, she has, like, potential asthma and stuff, that she shouldn't do it all the time, it kind of made me feel bad, and I was like, damn, you know, I'm sorry, I, I feel bad, I really resonate with you, and I was like, yo, like, this is, like, that's rough, like, let's not call her flat anymore, let's not make her, like, scream and use her voice, like, seriously, like, let's just not do that anymore. Where was that stream? that is that not here anymore i guess it's not here i can't find it but yeah i mean she's still going on pretty strong she's playing a bunch of other games and stuff she can be super yandere at times as well so you know rushia is rushia is great rushia is adorable everyone likes her adorbs adorable adorable cutes next in hall of fantasy what do we have shiranui flare now i say i know a lot of people in um the third and fourth gen but um i was wrong so Flair and Noelle are like on the scale, like lower on the scale of people that I really know in Hall of Fantasy, but let's let's take a look. Um, she already knew Flair. So she's a dark elf, right? She, she has the elf ears, right, right, right? 
so far from what I've seen, she's pretty chill. Honestly, she can be uh, also regarded as like a huge like yeah playboy and get really along with uh, all the other members. And apparently, like her and Noelle, who is another member of the Hall of Fantasy, have like a huge like ship together, which I've never seen or heard of because I've yet to watch most of her stuff. But um, let's see here. Oh, sure, videos are still here. That's like a good amount. That's pretty good. Awesome. So she plays a lot of games and um, huge gamer, honestly. So Ark, so Ark, a lot of getting over it. Some talking and chill streams and stuff. Um, what else here? Horror games. I don't think she, I've never seen her play horror games. I think she's a uh, she's a uh, okay with them at times. Uh, more Ark, more horror games. Not too many collab stuff from what I'm seeing here, unless the thumbnail is just misleading. But, um, yeah, I don't know too much about Flair, unfortunately. I mean, aside from the fact that, that she has, like, a huge, like, a uh, friendship with, a uh, Noelle, and gets really along with everyone else. Wait a minute, I did not see these videos when I was scrolling through, are you kidding me? Did I miss that? Her, some of her videos are still here, but I've, I've yet to see these ones. What the heck? So yeah, um, unfortunately for Flair, I can't really say too much about her stuff because I don't really watch too much of her stuff, but I think she's cool, and um... Ooh, how do I end this and transition this? That doesn't make me sound like super like I am clueless about this character. Which I basically am because I've never seen too much of Flair stuff. Next member, we got Shirogane Noel, whom I do recall. Is she called Doncho? Yeah, Doncho. Da Doncho? Doncho, yes. Noelle is a clumsy but mostly wholesome knight with a more girlish voice than her appearance would suggest, though she can pull out a more mature older sister voice on the occasion. Her character archetype is best described as having more muscle than brains. She often streams video games but is really seen actually doing well in them. Noelle's thirst for Shirinui flair is arguably matched by only by Matsuri's thirst in girls in general. She gets jealous if Flair so much as interacts with someone else. And since Flair is somewhat of a chick magnet, this happens very often. What the <laughs> What the hell is this? Okay. Very interesting. So, um, Noelle, yeah, her character's a knight, essentially. And, um, you know, from what I've seen in her stuff, I haven't seen too much of her stuff. Have I? No, I've seen her, like, mostly. Like, yeah, like that's how I know. Like, the ship with her and Flair or something like that, she apparently is super... Super jealous of Flair, or not like jealous, but like, like you know, she really like likes her and stuff. Yeah, so her being uh, not too like muscle and brains. I mean, if you look at her body, like her freaking muscles are all over the charts here. Uh, brains, I can't really say too much for sure because I haven't seen her play um, um, too many games too much. Although, actually, you know, I, I, I changed my mind actually. I have seen her play like a few games, like the most. Uh, the game and video that I've seen her play the most are like I really got me to interested in Noel's like our channel and stuff is her playing get over it with Picora like they're doing a race with each other and honestly it's a huge mind fuck where Picora is just like oh I'm ahead of you and then it ends up screwing Noel and she ends up getting uh second or last and I was just like damn that sucks i think afterwards she started like trying her best to get practice and to get over it and that's just like super funny i was like okay noelle's pretty funny um from the looks of her channel play a lot of r core games um some nintendo games vr in horror she's very bad in horror like she's a huge scary cat i seen her play the vr horror for like a penalty i think it was like the emily's home thing and she's just very scared in games and i was like damn you're somewhat like Mio, but like Mio is just like Mio's like way more scared than you, I think, in the horror games and stuff. Um, GRPGs, there's the there's the get over it video with her versus the Picara, that shit's hilarious. And um, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, she only has like a lot some looks like some of her videos got cut off, unfortunately. Damn, that's a shame. But yeah, Noel, I think she's pretty cool. I where's her three is her 3D debut not in here? Wait a minute. Yo, her 3D debut is not in here? Oh, that's 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 not fair. That's not cool. Uh, recently, she did another 3D video. I think it was like an anniversary celebration thing. And that was honestly pretty cool and adorable. Because basically, look, right, like, look, 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 look. Her character design pretty is pretty up there. And the fact that one of her freaking breastplates is missing a thing. And like, it's just... <laughs> all I gotta say 
And um, yeah, basically, like her 3D anniversary debut thing, all the Hall Life members were just making her do a bunch of like poses and stuff and a bunch of other actions or whatever. It's very thing. I think she's cool though. Dancho, the party leader. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Noelle's pretty cool. I, I enjoy watching her stuff from time to time, especially the horror things. Those are pretty funny. Next, final one in Hall Life Fantasy, we have Hosho Marine Ahoy. Ahoy. So, straightforwardness, uh, Marine is a pirate. Marine is a bold, fast-talking girl who often throws caution to the wind, making obscene jokes and playfully mocking both her higher-ups and her viewers. She often struggles to keep her lewdness in check and openly lusts after fictional female characters. According to her backstory, she loves money, jewels, and treasure, and decided to become a VTuber to get money to buy her own ship. As such, Marine is officially a cosplayer and not a real pirate. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, then. Though she claims to be 17 years old, her self-described auntie voice lacks a lack of physical stamina and extensive knowledge of 2000 to 2010 internet culture indicate that she is almost certainly older than she claims she is. This is supported by other Hall Life members habits of teasing her about her age. Her age has become a recurring joke on her channel. For example, on 30th of July this year, her birthday, she claimed to be turning 17 again for our second season. <laughs> I remember this shit. To which Luna states via a drawing that she is 27. And she always greets uh, her viewers with ahoy because she's a pirate. Yeah, Marine's awesome. Marine's great, honestly. She's pretty funny at times. Like, um, one of the very first videos I ever saw of her was in Azur Lane where she's rolling for her waifus and stuff. And she's basically like, oh my goodness, like, this is so, like, ooh, she's like, they look so hot and, like, you know, etchy or whatever and stuff. And, um, she, um, from what I've seen from stuff, yeah, she can be very open about her, like, you know, her fantasies and stuff and her lewdness and whatever. You know, that's pretty funny and stuff. And the fact that, like, so, yeah, the whole recurring joke of her being, like, old and stuff, even though she tries to act young, is, like, I don't know too much about the whole, like, IRL stuff or whatever, but, like, that's a joke that I find, like, all the time. And it's, like, you know, it's, it's a funny joke, whatever. Everyone keeps calling her old or, like, you know, on the older side. And she's just trying to be, like, oh, I'm 17. I'm always 17 for a second season. That was so damn funny. Like, she could have said anything else in that stream. I forgot what that was. I think it was, like, an anniversary or a chill stream. But, like, oh, it's her birthday stream. Yeah, duh. And then just, like, oh, yeah, I'm turning 17. For a second season, I'm just like, you could have said anything else beside that. I would have like, like, you know, maybe not have like questioned it or, you know, thought to think about it. But that was just hilarious and stuff. So also from what I know from Marine is that she's a very good ass artist. She can draw like a lot. Like there's this one game where she's like basically drawing and selling paintings. And um, she would draw like uh, the other members of Hall Live, right? And she would like, it's really good. Like... She has a few streams dedicated to just drawing characters with other uh, other VTubers and stuff. And I'm just like, yo, she can draw. She like, she really good. I dig it. So let's see here. Um, looks like some of her videos are gone too. And um, I can't really tell what her videos look like. So she, she has a lot of like, like drawing a lot, you know, chill streams. Sometimes she plays horror games. I think gaming is on like the side, I guess, at least from like what the thumbnails look like because it looks like there's like a lot less gaming thumbnails here i think looks of it i mean i would imagine that she'd do a lot of drawing stuff because she's really good at it drawing horror games more horror games uh more drawing more drawing horror games more collabs oh this yeah drawing more drawing and stuff more gaming and stuff a little bit more so yeah it's very interesting her her channel and her character i like her character and um, her, her content's pretty funny and stuff, and her, you know, her personality and stuff. Um, why do I feel like I've not seen anything from her, like, straight up? Why why can't, why can't? do I get this feeling? I don't know. Weird. But, um, you know, Marine's pretty funny and stuff, and honestly, like, her old pirate design's pretty cool and stuff. She also did get a redesign in her 3D or model or whatever. I, think, I don't know if it's a 3D or 2D model, but, like, basically she has, like, a pirate coat now. And, like, you know, the fact that she's, like, a pirate cosplayer... Now that I think about it, from the whole internet thing and her personality, that's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. So, so yeah, Hosho Marine, Pirate Lady, she's pretty funny. I really like her a lot. And um, I haven't seen her stuff too much lately. Like recently, at most, I've seen her play a few games, 
but it's mostly been like I've been checking out her drawing stuff a lot a lot a lot it's pretty cool okay I think that's it for Mari that's pretty cool so that's it for Hall Life 3rd Gen now we are on the final generation Hall Life 4th Gen first up we got Sunomaki Watame -lon. Watame now Watame honestly is one of my newest uh, recent favorite um, VTubers in 4th Gen She's honestly really cool and great and very chill and adorable and stuff. She also she's a sheep, essentially. Watame speaks in a pleasant tone befitting of her image, a soft, fuzzy sheep. Her voice has been noted by fans to be especially soft, mature, and womanly. Uh, in direct contrast to this image, Watame often amuses herself by making crazed facial expressions. Her wide-eyed, psychotic smile has become iconic on her channel, even appearing in some of her official merchandise. And... Um, she also bobs and weaves her head and body around, which has become one of her signature gestures, usually when she's singing. So yeah, Watame is a sheep, and honestly, she's just super, like, she's just super chill and, like, adorable and stuff. I really like her a lot. She has some great cover songs that I really listen to, and um, there's just so much, like, meme to her a little bit. Like, her meme is her psychotic, like, face where she, like, wide-eyed open... And just like, you know, she could like bop her head and weave around and stuff and, um, you know, act all fluffy and cute and stuff. It's really great. And I think I watched her 3D debut stream live. That was shit was awesome. I really dig that one. She has a lot of videos still up, actually. Wow, this is really nice. It's really interesting. So it looks like originally before, like she would have this like huge meme about her, about, about her having internet problems and stuff and disconnecting and stream live. But I think that's gone. And I was like... Watame did nothing wrong. But yeah, afterwards, she's played a lot of games. Look like Apex, horror games, a lot of games, a lot of games. A lot of games with everyone in the fourth gen and stuff, third gen, other Hall of members. Minecraft. Minecraft, is this Animal Crossing? What is this game? Is this a game? This might be a singing stuff. She does a few singing stuff. She does like a few other chill and eating streams too, also. And, um,. Yeah, dude, Watame is great. I really like her a lot. Like, her, she's just super adorable and fluff. 3D debut stream is awesome. Yeah, like, you know, her sheep and her voice and, like, you know, how she bobs her head and does the funny-ass facial expressions is so adorable. And, um, just recently, just recently, I watched her... Oh, she also has, like, a, a freaking Watamelon uh, thing where she, like, basically freaking made a meme about herself about how... Like, she could fit a watermelon on her head, and now she's called, like, the Watamelon, because it kind of works. And I'm just like, gosh darn it, man. And she can also rap. Like, one of her rap videos is awesome. She's honestly really cool. I like her a lot. So recently, just recently, I think she was doing a Minecraft stream or something like that. And how, and, like, this is, like, this opened me up for, like, you know, she's, like, even more higher on the scale of my favorites. I'm just like... Because uh, essentially, she's like talking, or she's doing Minecraft, and then someone donated a super chat. This is a really like famous clip, you can look it up. And basically, it just talks like super IRL, real deaf stuff, where like the super chat donator was like, oh, you know, thanks to your videos, you know, I really like, um, you know, I was like depressed and stuff, you make me really happy, I really like, like your videos and stuff. Super real stuff, right? I don't want to get too into details into it. But like, essentially after that, you know, Watame, uh, Watame, Milan, Watame was super like, you know, super nice and kind and also trying to cheer them up and stuff and just like, you know, super supportive and like, she, I think she ended up crying also afterwards. Like, you know, like it's like, you know, life can be hard sometimes and stuff, but you know, if my videos can help and stuff, then um, that's, I'm happy for that. And that shit like, oh my goodness, man, that was like so damn heartwarming and stuff. Like, Watame is super cute adorable fluffy and like you know super kind and she can do all that stuff all the time and it's just like ah goodness man my heart like what, what do i do to, what do i say to that dude that's just super adorable and it's like so irl and super deep man what time is great and i like her og song her was her og song and I, her songs are still here she has a bunch of cover songs she's covered melancholic her og song is called i'm my chocolate that shit's Great, listen to that stuff. Watame. Watame. Yes. So yeah, Watame was, I just recently discovered, I think she was like one of the, not the last, but like middle of the fourth gen I discovered. And I was like, you know what, dude, Watame is awesome. Like, seriously. So Watame is great. Check her out. I really like Watame a lot. She's like up there in my ranks for favorites. Um, next, in Hololive fourth gen, we have Tokuyami Toba. Now, 
Um, Toa, I haven't seen too much stuff about her, although I'm starting to hear a lot about her and really, like, look into her stuff more. Because, despite being a devil, Toa is sweet, kind-hearted, a down-to-earth girl, which has caused many of her fans to insist that she is an angel instead. Much to her dismay, her streams are usually wholesome and relaxing. She really enjoys herself while streaming and often gets hyped while playing FPS games, while she might rage if she dies in said games. She also does not like horror games as she gets scared very easily. She also likes singing and is well known for her powerful vocal range. So yes, indeed. So the whole meme with to uh, Toko was to Toko? To Toa. So that, yes, she's supposed to be a devil character, right? But it's a very huge meme that she's regarded as being super kind and angelic. And that's honestly super funny. I think uh, one of the very first times I finally watched her stuff was her 3D debut stream, right? And um, in that uh, stream is basically her, like, she did a, f a segment where she's trying to pull, like, pranks on people. But they're so, like, not, like, that bad and harmless and stuff. And it's just like, you know what? I can really dig Toa's character just a little bit now, and like, you know, the fact that she's trying to like, be evil, but like, she's just naturally good, like, how do I describe this in video game terms? She's like, neutral good, but she wants to be like, chaotic evil or something, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say here, but um, she, her voice is very interesting. When I first heard her voice, she does have an interesting voice and uh, vocal range. And w after her 3D debut stream, she has like a... It's not an original song. It's, it's a cover song. It's Error, right? Yeah, Error is still here. So her cover song, awesome. Really awesome. I like her, some of her so cover songs and stuff. Looking at her games... Uh, not her games. Her channel. I have yet to actually look into a lot of her stuff. But it looks like Minecraft. Uh, does a variety of stuff. Uh, Dead by Daylight. Minecraft. Uh... Was it Uno, Apex, um, Ark, Ark, Overwatch. He's playing Overwatch? Oh, wow, okay, interesting. I never knew that. So, Toa, just recently, I have, you know, she's on my, probably, like, one of the highest on my list of stuff, like, I'm gonna watch you, like, next. I'm gonna check out your stuff next, sort of thing. But she's playing Rainbow Six Siege? What? Oh, wow, Animal Crossing, Dead by Daylight. Yo, this is some pretty lit stuff here. Apex, Apex, Overwatch, Rainbow Six... Apex, Minecraft, Apex, Apex, getting over it, Apex. Wow, she has a lot of videos actually too, now I'm scrolling up in her channel, she has a lot of videos still up. I think a lot of the newer generations had not been affected too much by the copyright wave. Well, I would say thankfully, but I mean like, that's cool, that some of her stuff is still here. Apex, Valorant, Overwatch, Valorant, wow, 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 that's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay, Ark, 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 her 3D debut stream is still here, thank goodness. Um, party games with everyone else. Yeah, um, I think I've seen that a little bit with Toa. Um, I haven't seen too much of her stuff. I've seen her play a few horror games, but like, yeah, in clips with Toa, right? It's usually, she seems really kind and really like uh, caring for everyone else. Cause I remember one time she would like talk to Kanata, who's another fourth gen member when she's like lonely and stuff. And like, you know, it was like, that's cool. You know, it's so weird how like her character is meant to be like, Devil, devilish and evil and stuff but she's just super kind honestly like it's just like it's so it hurts so much like, it, it hurts my heart it pains my heart so much that like it's like oh my goodness so much kindness and stuff right so yes that is it oh man i need i need to watch some some more Toa stuff man this is just too like after her um 3d debut stream i was just like you know what Toa's is cool i need to check out more of her stuff and that's why i'll get on that eventually so, yeah. And recently, I think it was like a game show, like Toa, like she, like, it is indeed in her character to be more evilish and devilish or whatever, right? And she wants to do that more. I just, I just can't see it though. It's so damn weird that she wants to be more devilish to her character and evil, but like, she's just naturally kind. I don't know how. Next, next VTuber. All right, we got Kiryu Koko, who is up there in my favorites because number one she has probably the best english in all of hall life because she can curse she can teach everyone in hall life how to curse and she is just freaking funny and very awesome so uh, also so coco known also known as kaicho because she's like a super highly respected upon is an outspoken individual who employs crude humor and uh use likes to curse a lot and um, swears, and um, also teases other members and stuff in her morning show. Oh man, her 
just think they're so funny. She often pushes the boundaries of what VTubers can do on YouTube by using thumbnails or by flipping the bird or swearing or other things and stuff. She's also very fun, loving, playful, and started so much like, you know, a bunch of other things like Kiryu Coco is super like me like I wouldn't say Mimi, but like she's like could be like on a, on her own category of like memes and like other things in Hall Life because like I said, she can she one of my favorite things about Coco like recently is um well aside from the fact that she does English so I can understand her stuff, right? Is that she goes onto Reddit and like she looks up like the American and overseas memes of Hall Live and stuff, and she can understand that because she's bilingual and can translate that shit for all of us. So it's super hilarious, right? And um, the fact that she can like, you know, she openly like will curse or you know swear or say fucking or other things like that, and teach other uh, members in Hall Live to do that stuff. It's super funny. It's wow. She has a lot of her videos still up. Wow, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, another one of the facts that I really like uh, Coco is um, her relationship sort of with um, uh, some of the other VTubers because just recently, right, so sh um, her, um, Kanta, who's another VTuber in the fourth gen and another VTuber, should we say, who's like not like labeled in a gen, but they decide to like move in together in the same like uh, apartment house complex thing. So then essentially you had the whole, like she's super friendly with everyone, she's super chill. She's just awesome. Like, you know, you like chill with your homies and haul live and stuff and make videos and stuff and do offline collabs and hang out and stuff and do other things. So I think she's really awesome in that fact. Like originally when I first got into her, I was like, you know, she's the one that spoke English. She's the one that can understand the most. But then I started watching more of her stuff and I'm just like, yo, she's honestly really cool and awesome. She she makes it a meme in like one of her meme videos that she's like the least idol like person in the thing and it's pretty funny actually in thinking about it. She has a huge thing for Yakuza, which um the Yakuza franchise is a very big series and I've yet to actually look into it. I don't think the Yakuza playthrough is in here unfortunately. I would like to see the Yakuza playthrough, but it looks like she gets along really well with everyone else. She also had like this daily show that she would do every morning and talk about like uh, I guess other VTubers and other like Hall Live news stuff. She used to play Sims. Looks like she's doing the other thing and stuff. She has so many, what she, you know what? It's so interesting because I'm pretty sure the fact like, cause um, she lives together with a bunch of other VTubers, right? And from what I hear from them, right? Is that she rarely sleeps or whatever. And like, you know, she's like, she has a lot of videos. Like she has a lot, a lot of videos from scrolling up here. She has a lot of stuff here. Very interesting, very interesting stuff. Yeah, Kiryu Koko is just like overall, she speaks English so you can understand what she's saying. She does a bunch of funny ass videos and stuff and she like will like do the most like outrageous and chaotic things and it's pretty funny. And like, you know, she will often do a lot of collabs with uh, Kanta and Suisei because they live together now. And um, she's actually opened up to like, you know, having other members in Hall Life join. And I was like, yo, that's awesome. I mean like, sure if they want to live together, that's awesome. But like, that's, that's pretty cool. She's like, what what's her nickname again? Is it is it Kaicho? What's what's Kaicho be? It's like the her love for Ikuzi goes so far that she's called Kaicho Chairman. Oh yeah, Chairman. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, that's that's why she's called that. So yeah, Kiryu Koko is freaking great. Honestly, she is up there for one of my favorites, and she actually lives together with one of with my personal favorite VTuber. So we'll get into that real soon because we're on the fourth gen. So Koko's awesome. Check her out and stuff. A lot of the videos you'll see of her is of her speaking English, right? Next up, we got Himemori Luna, who, um, Luna is an interesting character from what I hear. Apparently, she's like zero years old or something like that. I don't know exactly what happened, but basically, she's like, uh, kind of like a princess looking character and she's like, looks young, but I'm assuming that's just like a, that's just a front. Luna has a sweet and innocent personality, although due to her status as the princess, of the kingdom and as the youngest Hall Live member, she is a bit pampered and always asks for the older Hall Live members' attention, especially Matsuri. Yeah, Matsuri and Luna have a huge thing together. In recent streams, Luna has also shown hints of sad sadism and yandere personality traits, although it's not that prominent. Being a uh, zero years old, Luna speaks in a childlike manner that almost resembles a toddler who just learned how to speak. She often also adds verbal tics like na and nanara in her words. She also refers to herself in third person. Oh, she's like, oh, Luna wants this or something like that, I guess. Okay. 
So yeah, Luna, interesting character. Like, um, <laughs> the way she speaks is just like, I, I hear the way she speaks all the time because a lot of the Hollow members also like parody it and they just like end their sentences with like, nah, whatever. But she's playing like, uh, like the most youngest character out of things. So I wouldn't say like, I think that's what kind of turned me off back in the day. Cause I'm just like, oh, she's like acting like the most like childish one out of everyone. It's like, okay, I'll talk about yourself later. But like recently, I think I started like watching her. I did her, I watched her 3D debut stream and I seen afterwards a bunch of other things. She's like playing with Matsuri. That's what, one of the huge ones actually. Yeah, with Matsuri. Cause like Matsuri and her have a huge thing where like uh, Luna's really grateful that she can talk to Matsuri. Cause like she's like a older senpai and stuff. And how like, you know, when she's like, you know, really lonely or like you know trying to like figure things out and how uh matsuri kind of helped her out through that stuff that was super adorable man and also like you know matsuri is also grateful for luna because like they have like a friendship and stuff and you know goodness wholesome stuff what else here she does a bunch of other things she's playing with matsuri a lot from the looks of it also recently i just discovered that she does a lot of piano streams so she can she's really like uh uh persistent on the piano playing like you know, songs or whatever, doing covers or whatever, playing mu music streams and stuff. You get some Apex, playing with other VTubers and stuff, shark games, uh, party games. Um, are these all piano streams? I can't tell. I can't tell. It's probably like chill and talk streams too. She also has like some weird, awkward segments where she's trying to like incorporate English, probably from, uh, what was it, Kaicho from Coco. And it's just funny. She's always trying to use curse words and shit too. It's so funny. She has a lot of videos up, actually. This is a considerable amount. She's played a few Apex, but I don't think she's played Apex too much. Like, a lot of her stuff recently. Minecraft, she's playing Metroid, I guess. Fall Guys. Um, what are these streams? Karaoke streams, chill streams, party games, some horror games inside. Yeah. I mean, at first, I took Luna for granted. And I was like, you know, Luna's like, probably like the least person I'd probably watch out of all of Hollow Knight. But now these days, I'm just like, you know... I think she might be cool. I mean, check out more of her stuff because the most I see from her is playing with other everyone else. But um, I think she she might she, uh, she might be pretty cool. I guess I did watch her 3D debut stream, so I think she's actually kind of cool too. So yeah, I'll check out some of her stuff eventually. Then that's it for Luna. Luna. -na. Next up, my questionably favorite VTuber out of everyone in Hall Live and in fourth gen, Amane Kanata. So, Amane Kanata is an angelic denizen currently studying at Heaven to become a full-fledged angel. She is currently 18 years old, and uh, she is extremely sweet, polite, friendly, demure. She is somewhat quiet and reserved compared to her other people in the Hall Life 4th Gen, and her sense of humor is uh, kind of vulgar and stuff. She admits she has a playfully sadistic streak to her, which manifests in her playing pranks and stuff on the other members. She's also uh, admitted that she's kind of shy and stuff and really kind of like plays on a facade around other people. She's uh, really noted to be really innocent and stuff from uh, people and stuff. And she, uh, you know, everyone jokes about corrupting the angel, which is pretty funny. So, yeah. So you have Toa, who is like the devil, which is honestly always angelic or really kind. And you have the actual angel. So Kanata, I would say... I, I'm saying it right now, like, she's my, probably my most favorite VTuber out of everyone here. And the reason for that, I guess, is because it just so happens that recently, out of, like, all, like now, like, after a month of, and stuff of looking into Hall Live and watching their stuff, I always tend to see myself watching more Kanata stuff. And that's just, like, huh. You know, I like everyone's personalities, but, like, I just end up watching more of your stuff. And I guess, you know, I, like, I, I wouldn't say I don't dislike Kanata, but, like, her stuff is just, like, I like it a lot. It's pretty funny. So, originally, when I first looked at Kanata, right, the very first thing you see of her is of her introduction video and how she's referred to as PPT, uh, PP Tenshi, because she did her introduction stream using PowerPoint, and now it's become a huge beam, I guess. And I was like, okay. So yeah, well, her very first stream, she did a PowerPoint, and that's how it got her to the nickname of PPT or PP Tenshi, PowerPoint Angel, whatever. And, you know, alongside other things in that uh, debut stream, right, she has this huge, huge meme about her, and, like, how she did this, like, uh, it's called the Soran Bushi. I'm assuming it's some kind of, like, Japanese cultural dance and song thing. 
and she did that in her first stream and honestly i was very confused about it as well because i didn't know what the hell it was at first but then now it's become such a huge meme and stuff and like it's now her like intro song when she's like loading up a, a stream and stuff and it's, it's honestly pretty catchy like kata has some very very cool interactions and a, a personality that i could probably relate with to a lot just i don't know why i just i just do because i watch a lot of her stuff a lot of her stuff is still here too so Aside from that, let's see what else we got here. She has two pet rabbits? Oh, she I, actually, I think she does. She did mention that before. Yeah, also her design. I really like her design. Like, I gotta say, like, she has, like, a freaking... So everyone memes about the, the, the angel halo on her head. I think it's... That is the halo, right? But everyone recalls it just a shuriken. Everyone calls it a shuriken. It's like, it is a shuriken, technically. And, like, um, I like the blue and the white. And then, like, uh, uh, her hair is, like white on top and then it's like blue in the like uh in the shade and i was like yo it's pretty cool her design's cool i dig it and like her personality is real cool i dig it a lot and um where is it one of the other like whoa, so, there's so many clips on here like man oh my goodness so i think one of the very first clips i ever saw of kanta was so it was the her and her soran bushi dance which was very famous and her powerpoint thing and then next it would have been her she can mimic um, Coco's voice a lot, uh, or not a lot, but like she can mimic it pretty well. And then she did this one video where she was calling up all the other Hall Live members with Coco and then imitating Coco. And then they're trying to see if the other members can discern which one's the fake. And that was just super entertaining. I was like, yo, that's pretty meta and stuff. And um, aside from that, there's also the fact that she's, um, she's so the ones that uh, the, the VTubers that are living together with Coco. So it's, uh, Coco, Kanata, and Suisei. Suisei I'll talk about uh, in a bit because she's not regard, um, referred to in a generation. But yeah, so that was also the fact that, you know, Coco and Kanata, like, they live together. They really resonate with each other. They do a lot of videos together because they live together. And before before they were moving in together, they did a lot of stuff together. So, you know, I really got to see them a lot of times and their interactions with each other is really, like, they really resonate with each other and they really understand each other a lot and their personalities, which is why they can live together right now, currently, as from what I've seen and stuff. And most of the other things that I've seen for her, she's really, she's a... Uh, she cannot dig horror games, and um, it's super adorable watching her play horror games and stuff. And then the one of the most biggest things I've seen her do, uh, well, she also does play Gotcha a lot. She's she's uh, what was it? is it Idol Master? She's played a Go Idol Master Gotcha a few times. She plays a bit of a very variety of games and stuff. And she has a uh, those few cover songs and stuff. Ark, uh, Dang and Ropa. She could. I don't know if she's like a weeb weeb or like a taku or taku, but like she likes anime and stuff, so I also dig that too. Um, what else here? What else here? She, she has like a, she apparently likes Detective Conan also. What else here? Um, yeah, so one of the biggest things I saw her do recently was um, she was playing Getting Over It, right? And um, I'm a, I guess for some odd reason, she had to complete this game like immediately or something like that and she essentially took like so damn long playing this game and then like at the time um when she did it everyone was really concerned about her because like a japanese time when i watched this it was like 5 a.m in the morning or something like that right or it was like i don't know it was just very late and then yeah it was 5 a.m right and that's when the stream happened and then when i woke up later like uh because i'm asleep by then and I woke up at like 12 afternoon, and then she's still playing the game. And I was like, no way, you've been playing this game for seven hours? Like, I'm looking at her channel, right? And she has an 11 hour stream of this game. So, you know, at, at that point, I was like, oh man, no, like, no, like, please, like, get some sleep or something like that. Like, I understand, like, you know, if you, like, have to, like, complete the game or you're doing it for like content or entertainment but like seriously get some sleep like everyone's super concerned for her health and stuff and then like you know she's just like she understands that fact and she eventually took a break afterwards she completed the game and then when she completed getting over it i was just so i was just like overjoyed by her completing it and i was like oh my goodness thank goodness so she's not to go through this shit ever again and then that was like i think at that point i'm just like you know what cons is cool and stuff yeah, I think, I think that was it, because then I was like, I, I felt so much joy for Kanta, and I was like, she's like really trying her hardest to get over it, and then she just falls sometimes, and then like, it was just so damn bad at times, and I'm just like, damn, this is so thing. So yeah, Kanta is cool. I really like Kanta. She's like super funny and super chill and stuff. 
And, um, oh yeah, another thing, so, another thing, so, essentially, I watched this clip on YouTube, right, it's basically, I think it was a chill stream or a karaoke stream, right, she was talking about how, basically, she had to go to, like, a, a hospital or a doctor or something like that because she has, like, some kind of, like, ear disease or something like that, where she can't hear in one ear or something like that, and then, um, essentially, she revealed this to the whole, like, you know, her whole fan base and stuff, and then she's just, like, you know, how... Um, even though I have this disease, I, it's still I, my dream or like my, my goal like was to become like an idol or sing or something like that, sing and dance and stuff. Even though like her disease kind of like affects that in a way, and um, how she's very thankful for Hall of Life for giving her this opportunity to fulfill her dream and do these things and stuff. And then I think it was at that point that's when I was like, oh my goodness, my heart, wholesome. You are my favorite. That was, I think, the moment that I was just like, you know what? I really, I really like you. You know, it was pretty cool. And, um, like, what was it? Like, I really resonate with her. Like, you know, she wants to do this thing. And, like, she's not letting, like, her, her diseases or, like, you know, anything, like, get in her way and stuff. And um, she's doing her best at work. And I was like, you know, props to you. I like you a lot. You're awesome. And then afterwards, that's how I basically got into the rabbit hole that is Kanta and her stuff. Because she does a lot of things. Even the meme about her t-shirt, her rags, that's so damn, like, it's like, it's it's funny at times, but I'm just like, you know, yeah, you want a designer shirt? That's cool, that's awesome, I dig it. She has a bunch of, like, you know, so on Bushi, so freaking iconic, dude. What else? So yeah, I've seen her afterwards, you know, I've seen her play Minecraft, I've seen her play horror games, I've seen her play, I've seen her do so many collabs with Coco and Suisei, it's super adorable, but that trio is just like, oh my goodness, like, there's just like the Suisei, Coco, and Kanata group, that's just like, oh my goodness, like, those three are like my favorites in Hall Life, I swear, like, like I, I just, that's my new favorite, like, really, every time they got a collab with each other, and they're just having fun and chilling, you got like, three of my favorite VTubers in a group, doing collabs and just doing normal shit together and like you know slapping people's butts in hotels and doing asmr together i was like damn you guys are this is awesome i like it i really like the the collab they have there it's just awesome and you know maybe my, more people might join so that's that's cool and awesome um what else recently i saw her play bang dream um she was honestly she didn't play too much of it she just basically went through all the characters and like got a free five star or a four star She's been playing Fall Guys, she's been playing um, Danganronpa, uh, some horror games and stuff, like Kanta, I man, I'm pretty sure I've seen so much more of Kanta stuff than everyone else, there's no doubt about it. I'm looking at this and I see so like, she has a considerable amount of videos still up too, thank goodness. I don't know if any of her stuff got hit by the copyright wave, but like, there's a lot of stuff on here. There's a lot of stuff on here. I really dig it. So, yeah, I'm on Kanta. P.P. Tenshi, probably my favorite VTuber out of everyone. I am, that's just how I feel because out of everyone else, I'm like, yeah, I like all of them. Like, Fubuki's personality is cool too, but like, in the end of the day, I just somehow see myself watching more Kanata than Fubuki. That's how it is. So I'm just like, you know what? I like Kanata. That's great. So that is it for Hall Life 4th Gen. I mean, Watame, Coco, and Kanta are like my top three in 4th gen. It's so damn awesome. I would like to get to know Toa and Luna more with their videos and stuff. And um, that's it for 4th gen. Now, we talk about the other members of Hall Life that aren't associated to a generation, but they're like the 3D or 2D talents or whatever, right? So there's also the 5th gen, but I will once again do that in a separate video because it's been two hours and I am getting super thing with my voice and my nose. So this is going to be a long ass podcast. Oh my goodness. Okay. So next up we have the Hall Live talents 3D and 2D. So these are people that I'm assuming are that kind of created Hall Live, like a Gen Zero, but then they're not like I, I'm assuming they're the, the OG Hall Life people because I have no clue like their origin. So here we have Tokina Sora, we have Roboko, Sakura Miko, and Hoshimachi Suisei, which um, I've talked about um, Suisei a lot. So let's go with the very first one, which is Tokino Sora. She is highly regarded in Hall Life as like the number one. Like she's the OG. She's like the first one, I'm assuming, right? The very first member of Hall Life. Yes, indeed. So I don't see too much of her stuff. Actually, let me check that real quick. So yeah. Sora stuff, I haven't seen too much. I've only seen a few in terms of like um, uh, collabs and uh, gaming and stuff. But then I'm pretty sure, well, she's also in um, Other Lane for one. And then also, she does like, she's like the legit like idol out of everyone else and thing. Like, I'm pretty sure she's like focused more on music and stuff than gaming and other things. But let me see her stuff. 
Tokino Sora, uh, blah, easy going, happy, comforting person who has led many fans to call her Tokino Sora Mama. Because of her motherly attitude within Hall Life, she is the member who most closely fits the image of a proper idol, since most of the other members have become infamous for causing mayhem and goofing off. Sora loves horror games. Yeah, she does actually. She's like super not affected by horror games. And she does not get scared by them. She also loves rhythm games and live streaming for her fans. She's not very good at uh, rote learning and ogiri. Okay. Because of her musical and dancing talent, she has published several covers, including collaborations with other VTubers, with the release of a decent album and a major record label. She dreams of holding a concert at the Yokohama Arena. So yeah, from what I know from Sora's stuff, I don't watch too much of her videos, but I'm pretty sure she's like up there in terms of like being the like the one idol and yes she does a few games on the side but i think her main focus main focus her main focus is legit like music and stuff and that's um that's cool i dig it like i have actually not seen too much for music stuff and honestly i should probably check out her music and her cover songs and her og songs eventually i should do that I should check it out. So that's it for Tokino Sora. Next up, we got Roboco, whom I'm pretty sure. So Roboco, I feel like I've seen her before on social media. And I think I've seen her do like her own 3D, you know, modeling and her own uh, model and stuff. Roboco is a robot girl who loves to pose. She has a killer instinct inside her. She is great at shooting, except in video games, but likes to run over people in them. She hates when games try to surprise her, her voice very calmly and almost a whisper. Um, yes, yeah, so Roboco... I could have sworn she was like an artist or something like that in social media before, unless that's when Hall Life debuted, but I feel like I've seen her character before on social media. She'd like to do art and show off her 3D model and stuff. But um, aside from that, she um, I haven't seen too much of uh, Roboco stuff. I think she's cool though. Her her uh, character design is really awesome. And um, uh, I've seen her play Bang Dream actually. So she plays a lot of games, a variety of games and stuff. Looks like she has a bunch of ASMR. Um, a lot of ASMR, uh, gaming stuff, small games. So she does play a lot of Valorant and Apex from what I've seen. She's like on that, uh, you know, kind of gaming sense. She always plays with Matsuri and Ayame. I see a lot. Recently, you know, she's playing a lot of stuff. Honestly, she plays a lot of like fighting competitive games and stuff. Uh, aside from the ASMR and other things. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I think she's pretty cool. Like, like, honestly, her character design is really cool. I like how her glasses is like, they're circle glasses, right? But then like on one side, it has like a shape of like a teardrop. It's super like, it's super funny, that that design. That, the small little, like small little like design choice there is so funny. So yeah, a lot of ASMR, a lot of things. She's very, um, her character design, like, like I said, it's really awesome and stuff. One of the very first videos I ever saw of Roboco, technically, is um, she's like showing off her battle station or her computer setup, basically. And she has like, I don't know, like triple or dual monitor shit with like some like other things. She also has a cat too. And um, among other things, I haven't really seen her play too much Apex or, does she play Valorant or am I just tripping? It might be just Valorant or not Valorant, Apex. Yeah, I'm not too into Apex, so I never watch people play Apex. But I mean, like, I might check it out eventually. But yeah, she plays a lot of those kind of games, and that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think um, like she, I don't see too much of her stuff, but I think she's a cool character. Eventually, I like to watch some more of uh, Roboco stuff because she looks cool. And uh, yes, so that's that. Next, Sakura Miko. Wait, what was that's the wrong tab? All right, next we have Sakura Miko. Now, Miko unfortunately is on a break right now because of health reasons from what i've heard i don't know if it's because of the actual copyright wave or anything but like she's on a break and like you know i haven't gotten to see so much of her stuff but i really like to see some of her stuff when she comes back so miko is a self-proclaimed elite gamer who is somewhat melodramatic and tends to become emotionally attached to npcs and inanimate objects Fans tend to use the term elite ironically to highlight Miko's questionable decision-making skills. As long as her tendency to speak garbled nonsense punctured by the occasional F-bomb. Yes. Oh my goodness. If you look at Miko, right? So there's so many clips of Miko, right? Number one, how she likes to curse. She likes to say F-A-Q, so it's not too, like, aggressive cursing, right? And um, she gets really into gaming. Like, she's um played... um. Out of all the other VTubers, at least from what I remember, she has completed and played through Grand Theft Auto. One of the most, like, looked up memes, probably, and most infamous things about her is, like, in GTA, and you can imagine why. 
But um, yeah, that's like one of the very first times I ever saw Miko. Actually, no, the very first time I saw Miko was her elite English conversation with Coco, where she's trying to look up uh, how to like ask her how to to take up take her to the Statue of Liberty, right? And that shit was hilarious. And after that, I looked up more of her stuff. And like I said, I saw the GTA stuff. I saw the the elite English stuff. I've seen like so many other gaming stuff, and she's honestly pretty cool honestly i really like her although i never got to watch too much of her stuff because i just that was about it and then now she's on a break unfortunately so i you know oh man yeah her videos got hit so hard she has like three six twelve eighteen like about 30 videos up now so yeah her video her channel got really hit by the thing unfortunately so you know miko i think like from what i remember from miko at least so Miko, she's a pretty hardcore gamer, I have to say. She would play Final Fantasy. She would try to, you know, look up the stairs with Tifa on it or whatever. And um, she played Grand Theft Auto. She would uh, be really in, like, in, like, she'd be really immersed in games. And um, aside from her cursing personality, I think it's really awesome. She's played Far Cry. Like, wow, she's played a lot of games. So yeah, I think Miko. I haven't given Miko a shot yet, but I mean, I, from what I've seen of clips of Miko, I really would have liked to give her a shot. Unfortunately, I decided to do that, and then her video got hit with a wave of copyright and stuff, unfortunately. So now, a lot of the old stuff I can't even see, like her GTA playthrough, it's gone, unfortunately. So yeah, um, you know, Miko is on break right now because of health reasons, quotation marks. I don't know what these health reasons pertain to, like her actual like physical body or like her mental thing or whatever. But, you know, I just really hope that she comes back great. And I'm pretty sure she desires to come back from the sound of it. But, uh, yeah, you know, hope everything goes good for her. Next up, the last one, Hoshimachi Suisei. So, Suisei is up there in my regards for my favorites because she is also part of the, the trio with Coco and Kanata. So, Suisei is a modest, multi-talented singer and aspiring idol who is among the more level-headed members of Hall Life. However, after an unexpectedly compelling performance as a traitor, in a, in a game with collab with their other thing. She has gained the reputation of being a, a psychopath, a psychopath as the thing. But uh, yeah, so Suisei is a very interesting person because from what I've, I've discovered after looking at her stuff is that she was a VTuber way before Hall Live. And that surprised me. I was like, wait, really? And like, I mean, I guess could be Roboco and uh, Sora and uh, Miko as well. But yeah. Originally, what really got me into Suisei was the fact that she had this uh, video where she was like talking, like, I guess it's an anniversary thing, right? Where basically she was like talking about herself, right? And she basically, she was a VTuber like way before Hall Live. She did her own stuff. She did what she wanted to do, singing and songs and making songs and games and stuff. And, um, you know, eventually in her second year, she was debating on quitting because it wasn't like she wasn't getting any like you know getting any better or subscribers or you know like more uh, attention or whatever and then after that whole thing hall life picked her up and recruited her and then she's gained a huge boom of like you know fans and subs and everything and then that made her stay into hall life so after hearing that i was like damn like respect mad respect for so we say like seriously like, you know, I can understand, I can really relate to that whole thing. Like, you know, like her working hard for be, to being a VTuber and like just trying to like, you know, that's her goal, right? And then like debating like if she, if it's gonna work out or whatever. And then eventually she got picked up with Hall Live and then it, it did. She's awesome, she's great now. And like, you know, they got gave her a new 2D model and stuff. She does a bunch of singing. She has like three original songs, which I really like. I really like listening to them a lot. And, um, you know, as a gamer, she's really good, too, also. She, like, a lot of stuff, like, her music, great. Honestly, in her karaoke streams, I see them a lot. She's covered a few songs that I like. Like, she's covered, like, the FGO openings and stuff. She's covered the Zombieland, Zombieland Saga things. Also, I forgot about this. She is a Vanguard player. She plays Vanguard Zero, so that's a highly plus one respect for me. I really dig that. And um, that's just, like, huge plus for me. I saw her play Vanguard Zero. I was like, instant, I like you. You're good respect so yeah there's that um yeah i really like her stuff like suise is awesome and um i see her a lot more often now because she's you know once again collabs with kanata and coco and they live in the same household she has an older sister that sometimes appears in her videos and stuff the the ane machi the older machi or whatever and it's pretty adorable too they're seeing their relationship uh, especially like kanata and suise have so many videos together like there's like one of them playing tetris together 
and like um also speaking of which Suise is a tetris god she literally she's like a huge professional at tetris she like likes to play competitive tetris and shit and like play competitive games she also has so has the that nickname of the the psychopath Suise or the psychopath as thing because she kind of like betrayed everyone in a video game and stuff and um you know Suise is awesome i really like her so She's really awesome. It looks like some of her videos got hit. I feel like she would have had more stuff about 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. She has like a few videos up, but like I feel like she had more stuff going on. So yeah, like uh, Suise, really, really interested. I think like she's like one of the very first VTubers I started looking into because I saw she played Vanguard. And I was like, I gotta check her out right now. And then afterwards, I saw a lot of her songs and learned about the stuff, like, you know, her whole past and her history and her OG cover songs and stuff, or OG songs and stuff. So, yeah, I really like Suise, and now she's, like, living it with uh, Coco and her sister and uh, Kanata, so that's awesome. I can't wait to see what comes up from her next. So, yeah, Suise is awesome. Really like her. Tetris God, idol, singer, and stuff. Could be a... <laughs> Suikopath at times, but uh, she's still pretty awesome and cool. I like her a lot. And that's Hoshimachi Suise, and the that's all of Whole Life so far. Oh my goodness, we did it. Um, that's it from first gen to second gen to gamers to third gen to fourth gen, and then to the unmarked uh, 3D talents, the OG, the Whole Life Gen Zero, the OG uh, starting members of Whole Life. So, yeah. That's it for Hall Live so far because Hall Live is way more bigger in that regard because there's like a China branch, there's like an Indonesian branch, there's like so many other, like there's the Hollow Stars, which is all males and stuff. And you know, they have the fifth gen just released like these last few weeks and stuff. And I have to get to know them a few, uh, like so watch, watch their content and their vids and stuff before I make a podcast talking about that. And like, you know, there's just so like Hall Live. I've enjoyed Hall Life so much ever since the beginning of July. Like, it's been, like, July 1st to August 16th. I have enjoyed so much of their videos. Once again, it's a shame that their stuff got hit because of the copyright wave. Hopefully, their videos are coming back. And from the looks of it, after going through all their stuff again recently, it looks like some of their stuff are coming back slowly and steadily. So, that's good to see. You know, I really would wish, uh, you know, I, like, I want to see more of their stuff. I want to see some of their old G stuff, if uh, it's possible. If it's not, then it's unfortunate because I kind of missed out on that. But um, it's really cool to see, you know, these, like, you know, VTubers. You got so much entertaining comedy. You have, like, comedy, you got horror, you got, um, you know, action games and stuff. You have a lot of funny moments and emotional moments and stuff when they're real or whatever. And, like, you know, it's just so much, like, stuff here that I really dig. And I watch Hall Live videos, like, every day, pretty much now. So, yeah. I really like Hall Live. And I can't wait to see what the 5th Gen has to offer. I really hope that, um... Uh, you know, everyone's videos come back and hopefully they resolve this copyright wave issue thing. Hopefully, I'm really, you know, Mio, I really hope Mio and Sakura Miko come back. Like, they're on, they're the, like the two on hiatus or break. And I'm really like, you know, I want to see them when they come back. You know, I want to see them come back and, um, I don't know, I want to see them make their comeback, you know? And, um, you know, just like go strong and, um, move forward after all this whole weird stuff happened. So, um, yeah, that's it for Hall Live virtual youtubers and stuff so that's it for now i guess um yeah like i said like i, I don't have like a like a top i can't make a top five list out of everyone i just know kanata is like i really like kanata a lot i like to watch all of her stuff like everyone's so great in all live and there's like few of the members that i haven't really got to know yet and watched their stuff yet which is a shame i'll get to it eventually after this recording but um that is it for the whole live video that I promised, I did not expect it to be a podcast, but things changed with their whole video and copyright stuff. So I'm just going to talk about it here in this podcast. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys like Hall Live and also really um, resonate with what uh, I was talking about, then uh, leave a comment below. Who's your favorite Hall Live VTuber? Which, uh, what gen's your favorite? What, uh, what videos got you into Hall Live? What, what, what their store, their series or their games or videos got you into them, whatever. I want to talk Hall Live in the comments. So, what do you guys think of the fifth gen, too? Also, I was honestly surprised to see that there's a fifth gen like arriving right now, even though they're all dealing with the copyright stuff. So, I mean, that's like a fresh start for the fifth gen. But uh, yeah, they all look pretty interesting. I really like them a lot. So yeah, that's it for Hall Live so far. I'll see you all again once um I don't know. Maybe I might make a Hall Live podcast like whenever things happen, or you know, eventually I'll talk about the fifth gen 
uh, later on once I get to know them in their videos and the streams and stuff. But yeah, thank you all for watching, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and you like Hall Live, and subscribe. Ring that bell. We have hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all, everyone. I guess my goal for 2020 has changed because I was supposed to hit 1,000 by the end of this year. But um, let's try to hit 1,200. I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. And um, when you're down, go watch some Hall Live. Take care, guys. See ya.